Hey YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Demonologist. They just did their massive update for this game, which added, among other things, a brand new map. They updated some of the other maps. They added new safe houses, new customization. It is an absolutely massive patch, which is really cool to see. And I'm especially happy that they've added new maps because the maps in this game are like the best of any of the ghost hunting games out there. They have a lot of secrets, uh, a lot of things that you have to find and discover. And uh, it's, it's been a really fun game to play and discover so i'm super excited that we've gotten a new map so soon and apparently they're doing this every two to three months so there's going to be a lot of content coming for demonologist and i'm going to play it every time it arrives and i hope you join me for this time if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go Alrighty, here it is. Kuro's Kurogawa. Is that what it's called? The Kurogawa house is the new map. We're obviously going to go there first. Now, they've also added new safe houses. What is the new safe house? They've added the penthouse, penthouse which is 50,000. It's Kurosawa. Okay. It's 50,000 bucks. I have 32K. Holy moly. That is a very expensive house. Uh, and they've also updated the abandoned house, which is the first map. They've added a second floor to that. So we'll be checking that out as well. But obviously, we're going to start by just checking out the uh, Kurosawa house for the first time. Let's do it. Oh, baby. Here we are. I hear ambience. Oh, there it is. I need to grab some equipment because I can't see anything. Now, I have not looked... What the hell is going on? <laughs> what was that? I've not looked at any of the content, so this is going to be my first ever experience with this. Uh, let's grab... I think we're just going to grab the EMF. But I'm going to grab a crucifix just... To, well, I, I guess it'll be fine. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? We'll grab a spare box as well. Dude, there's some creepy sounds on this map. Excuse me. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm guessing we're going over here. Uh, see lots of insects. I hate... Flying insects. Froggies. Oh, baby. So, the way the maps in this game work is that there is lots of, like, ways to interact with the environment by talking and doing voice commands. So, I'm super excited to see all of the secrets. I'm definitely going to miss some secrets as well. So, if you discovered anything, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I think we're already in the map. I'm guessing that's the entrance. There's a mirror. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. It doesn't work. That's only in the Cyclone Street house that that works. Um, I'm, there's not. I'm just looking for the for like text on the wall because I know usually if there's something to interact with, there will be like text on the wall of what you can read. Dude, what is this background like? <laughs> they really like. They want you to be spooked out of your damn gourd, man. And this map looks big. This looks really big. Very pretty, though. Very dilapidated. Beautiful Japanese style. What is this? Wait, can't we crouch? I'm pressing Control and C, and I'm not able to crouch. How do you crouch? Uh, settings. Controls. Crouch. Crouching is unbound. Okay, we're gonna say that is left control. I'm pressing left control. It's not working. Did I not save it? I probably didn't save the controls. I did not save it. Uh, back. Why isn't it working? <laughs> Do I have to reset first? And then... Oh, now is After you click reset, then it works. Okay. There we go. Now I can crouch. Look at that. What is this book? Taxidermy done right. <laughs> we can crouch now. They've added a crouch button. Also, I see blood. Does that mean there's a ghost up here? Oh my god. 666! Can I do something with that? 666. Number of the beast. I'm just saying random shit at the wall because I know that I, I might look like I'm insane. I promise you, this is how the game works. You just got to be talking to the walls and then sometimes stuff will happen. Over here. Ask, ask, what time is it? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> no, hi there. <laughs> That's sick, dude. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the type of stuff you have in this game. Just be randomly asking things and then all of a sudden you'll get the spooky interactions. That's why That's why I love that they're adding like new maps. They're going to be adding them every two to three months. 
which means we're gonna have like whole new things to explore even if you don't play the game like every day it is gonna have like every every two to three months we'll have a completely new area to explore and just secrets to find which is super exciting anyway uh let's check around here if we can find any more secrets <laughs> what time is it uh oh i'm hungry Gummy. Oh, what is this? Enjoy your meal. Can I actually eat it? It looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> it looks very nasty. I'm not eating that. Fuck you. Uh, can you hear me? Where are you? Are you here? Hello there. Is this... This is like two paintings? They accidentally put two paintings in one painting? This is one big map. Huh? I, I haven't... E oh, explosion. I haven't even found the ghost. I guess I'll be holding out my EMF. Maybe that'll trigger something. Hello there. What is the house? Is it just a fancy mansion? Oh, there's a chest. I probably can't open that, but maybe I can. I cannot open the chest. Feels bad, man. Yeah, this is very cool. Just... Oh, I can't go in here. This this room is just... And the thing is... So the way this, this game works is not only are there like secrets you can trigger, but there's also like secrets in every room that the ghost has to trigger, but they will only do that when that is their ghost room. So there is like a lot of content to be found over time by just, uh, by like playing the map over and over again and having the ghost be in different rooms. Okay, it seems like that's just a dead end. Uh, maybe you can loop the ghost around here because there still don't seem to be hiding spots that's the one thing that there's not in th they don't have hiding spots in this game so if the ghost hunts you're just gonna be killed Rit oh come on everything is exploding a toilet we got no we have actually have a toilet oh there's a toilet no mirror though I hear drippy drippies hello is anyone here luger thank you for the 14 and mary thank you for the biddies have i gone in here I have gone in here. Okay, I think that's... Is that the whole map? No way. Did I miss something? Okay, so let's see. You come in through here. This is the entrance. Then you have, like, a bedroom over here. It's a simple bedroom. Then we have this, like, courtyard area, which is absolutely beautiful, by the way. Yeah, this reminds me of the in map from Devour. I think it might be... Oh, we got a board. Uh-oh. Um, I think I'm gonna use that board and then immediately take pills. Because I do not want to... I don't want to die. Get me out of here. I don't know if you can use it outside of the map. Probably not. But let's see. I think you can use it like this. Where are you? Not. I need to drop it in the map. Where are you? Where are you? Hey! Where are you? Okay, I guess it does... Is that a hunt? <laughs> Wait, that's a hunt? I just barely escaped the hunt. Okay, well, guess I did use the board. Wait, what's over here, by the way? Can we go here? Use the new crouch? No, we can't go through there. Oh, uh, I'm glad I... <laughs> glad I was out. What's my sanity right now? It's probably really, really bad. Oh, yeah, it's 30. Oh, boy. Luckily, I have all these sanity pills for myself. Yum, yum. The hands in this game are... Very high definition. How much does that give me? That gives me... I'm gonna take two pills. Two pills. And then we could also... I guess we could bring in a crucifix. That'll keep us safe in case we do some stupid stuff again. Like massive locusts or something. Okay, let's see. I need to, like, properly... Identify the map. Let's see. Oh! It ends with an L. What could that be? The room name ends with an L. I don't know what... Hmm. Uh, probably not a bedroom then. Hall, maybe? Hall? That's a good... That's a good... Good, uh... Guess. And indeed, it seems like it could be the case. Yes, it's Hall. And that's why this door was closed, because it touched the door. Oh, there you go. Okay. We figured it... Did he just say my butt hurts? <laughs> Wait, I swear. I, I'm not memeing. I genuinely said, think they said my butt hurts. <laughs> Wait, how do I open? Oh, J. Okay, we just got EMF 5. Easy peasy. You will be my puppet. Oh. 
<laughs> I don't think they said my butt hurts. Okay, let's see. Uh, so we're gonna bring in all the evidence items because we're still playing a classical ghost hunting game. We have to collect some evidence. Uh, what's my sanity? 80%. Man, this ghost seems to be... Wasn't I at 100% there and then I already lost 20% just now? This is such a shitty ghost room. This is gonna be real scary, huh? The gracious game sticking with the 12 months. Let's see. Let's check the, uh... The door here. Any fingerprints on the doors? Oh, a trees! What the fuck was that? Help. Help. What is happening, dude? It's in there. It's in there for sure. Wait, wait, wait. get me out of here. Get me out of here. That was some creepy shit. Shit. Oh, I guess we have a crucifix. Drop that there. It's EMA 5 going crazy. Uh! It's a tiny baby demon! <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit. Well, it's definitely in this room. It's freezing in here. I'm assuming that's freezing. Uh, so we're gonna say it's freezing temperatures. We have a Jin Oni Mirror Abaddon. Abaddons don't target you when you have a... I'm gonna drop this here. I'm gonna hold on to the crucifix. Abaddons ignore you when you're holding a crucifix, right? Let's quickly see if my sanity dropped a lot, because I think Onis are extremely aggressive when it comes to draining your sanity. Uh, what's my sanity looking like? My sanity is still at 80, so they didn't even drop my sanity at all. Okay, so let's see. We got a Jin, Oni, Mare, or Abaddon. Let's look at the ghost type. Jin is... Because it is very active, it's prone to hunting, but it's also very easy to find. Okay. Jin, Oni... It's known to be very fast, and we don't have any data on the weakness, okay? And it also drains your sanity, I know that. That we have a mare, which is difficult to detect. I can already say this is not a mare. I've had some mares in my days, and the mare does absolutely nothing. So that's not, not gonna be a mare. And then the Abaddon will only attack people that are not holding crucifixes. Which is actually really fucked up in multiplayer. Because there's only two crucifixes, so if you're in the map with four people, then whoever's not holding a crucifix will just die because the people that are holding crucifixes can't protect them, which is a little messed up. What's our objectives, by the way? Um, you have to do solve the mystery of the paintings. That's interesting. Find the katanas and put them back in their place. Dude, that's some interesting, interesting things. Okay, so we need to find maybe ectoplasm, probably. And then I'll bring in, a, bring in another crucifix. That's it. I'm holding two crucifixes. Yeah, let's go. We'll be exploring the map more. We're also going to get ghosts in different locations. This is very close to the entrance. Because there, there's no way there, there, there's got to be more than two secrets for sure on this map. Okay. Can I turn on? Did you turn off the light? You did turn off the light. That means there could be fingerprints on here, which there doesn't seem to be fingerprints. Can you, you can rule out... Uh, you can rule out evidence in this game, right? It's 100% that- Oh! I saw a lot of bodies, but I saw it like for literally less than a second. What the fuck was that? Holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna rule out fingerprints. No fingerprints, okay. Any... Any ectoplasm? Dude, it's like real cold in there, huh? Did they make this harder to see? Also, I'm like going cra- I'm freezing breath all over the shop. Doesn't look like there is ectoplasm. Can you get- You could just smash in the thing? What the hell? I'm gonna grab my- It was going crazy, man. Hello? Are you okay? Dude, I'm like smoking. This is too much freezing breath, dude. I'm vaping. Fuck! Ah! You're gonna ignore me? But it's ignoring me. Wait, it's ignoring me! It's an Abaddon! <laughs> you see how it's just ignoring me because I'm holding a crucifix. It doesn't attack me. Wait, this actually might be my favorite ghost in the entire game. I love that. Well, seems like we figured it out. This is gonna be an Abaddon. Let's go. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now, as soon as I put away this crucifix, I'm gonna get killed right away. But that was easy. Okay, so wait, what is Abaddon? Abaddon would be... Uh, spirit box response. I didn't try the spirit box at all. Okay, so we're just gonna wait the hunt uh, or wait out the hunt while holding this crucifix. So there's literally no way we can die unless we mess up, which means this is gonna be the perfect ghost to like look around the map for all the secrets. Um, 
Can you stop hunting me though? I need to find... So I filled it in now, right? So I need to solve the secret of the paintings. I need to find katanas and I needed to do the rats in the boiler. Okay, so we need to find rats. Uh, that one I know. The rat one I know. But the... Oh, there's a rat. Let's just drop this on the ground. I don't need it anymore. Uh, obviously, we're gonna... Okay, we got two rats right here. Um, those only spawn, so you can only start doing this after you uh, have filled in the ghost. Then all the side objectives will spawn. So we need to find the boiler as well. I don't know where the boiler is. I don't, I don't think I saw it yet. Unless we can just cook it up here. I don't think we can. Maybe back here. Probably gonna be in the attic if I were to guess. Which was over here, no? No, it was not. Oh, there it is! Oh, it might just spawn in a random place. There we go. Oh, God, I'm sorry, rat. Why do they make noises? Is Didn't it say dead rats? <laughs> Isn't it, Aren't they supposed to be dead? What the hell? Why are you guys... Why are you, why are you still alive? Oh, maybe the cauldron, like, brings them back alive only to kill them seconds later. The air's getting out of their lungs. And then we had one more over here, right? One more over here. Now I know I'm safe. It's a, it's a little too hot. I'm gonna have to change sweater real quick. Give me a sec. Costume change, guys. It, it's getting summer. I'm 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 hanging on to sweaters for dear life, but it seems like slowly but surely we're gonna have to get rid of them. So savor the times that you're seeing them because I know a lot of you guys enjoy the sweaters, but they're gonna be gone for a good few months. <laughs> uh, but the the ones you're still gonna see probably is this one. And the, the really colorful new one, because those are, they're like super flimsy. They're extremely thin. So these ones I can wear just fine, even in summer. Well, not in like full summer, but right now it's fine. Anyway, we did, uh, there's, there's three rats, I think, right? So this should be the last one. It was, nice. Okay, so now we need to, so that was the one I already knew how to solve. Now we need to look around for katanas. Oh, what's back here? And we need to look around for secrets of paintings, whatever those are. Um, I think I'm going to go to the attic. I have a feeling whatever it is, it's going to be in the attic. This is a nice small map, by the way. I was... Ex oh, there's a katana. And there's a painting? What do I do with this? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I love the sound. Shing, shing. Uh, so I need to put this back in its place, which I'm assuming is just gonna be uh, like some stand somewhere, which might probably randomly spawn. Let's look around. There just gotta be a rack. There's multiple katanas, okay. And then we need to solve the secret of the paintings. What the hell is that? Oh, this one. This also gotta be a secret, right? Demon! Go! Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need to say... Oh my god! Dude, that's sick! Okay, so you need to say demon. <laughs> that's why I love... The Dude, this is so cool. Like, it's... It's just really fun. Like, this this does lose its novelty over time. Like, if after you've played the map, like, ten times, you're not gonna be doing all the secrets every time because you've already seen them. But especially on your, like first few playthroughs it's just a really novel experience that we haven't seen in any of the other ghost hunting games i have to put them back in here where the fuck do i bring these what's going on um some people said i should look over here oh there's another katana wait so there's three katanas total where the fuck do they go though this thing what's this aha this looks like it aha uh -huh, i see okay okay this is it we found it we got a... This is a polar bear. This goes here. Check. Okay. That is not what I expected the katana stand to look like. I literally walked past this without batting an eye because I didn't... I, I was expecting, like, one of those classic, like, two-hand thingies. Uh, anyway, what's this? This is just an owl. Then this is gonna be the rabbit because we already have the owl. The owl we dropped over here. I think. And then we need to solve the secret of the paintings, which there's a lot of paintings on the ground. I think the ghost did that, probably. I don't think I can pick those up. Hey, Al Alchemy, what's up? 
Back here? Where's the... There it is. Uh, all these paintings are the same, by the way. I thought I saw something blinking over there. See? That's so cool. You wouldn't have seen this. You mean the, the thing here? See it? There we go. Now, is this just gonna... Oh! Aha, uh -huh, it opens up a secret room. Wait, that's sick. And then we need to solve the secret of the paintings here? That's really interesting. Wait, so they have to be done in order. Let me guess, I have to rotate this one? That painting is, like, broken. Do we just have to set them up? <laughs> is this just, like, OCD simulator? Oh, I don't know what this... Ah, oh, shit. Um, this one is fine, I think. Actually, I think it's like this. And then this one... I would say it's like that. Maybe this one was just... Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so you need to find the paintings on the map to know which, which like, what is upright. Uh, there is a mask over here that I could drop. I have to find the mask now, because now the that's all the optional objectives done. Now I have to do the... Um, the main exorcism. So this... This opened up the secret door where I had to solve the, the riddle. Does that mean that every time you go to this map, you'll have to find the katanas and solve the painting riddle? Or is there... There's probably different versions of that, I would assume. Uh, oh, there's something. What is this? It is a... thingy majingy. What is it? Oh, it's in my inventory. It, it, it just it disappeared. I guess I'll just go around the map. This does have kind of that, like ghost exile problem where most of the like optional objectives are just finding like different different types of bones like phasmo bones is this everything i'm i think that's everything yeah there we go okay well that was easy that was i mean the maps aren't that big so it's not that big of a deal now i'm assuming we just drop those off there or do we got to do something special Okay, so one is going to be different, and the two are always the same, I see. I mean, this could easily be expanded by just adding different types. I mean, I guess you could reskin this by having some other items you have to find. So now I just drop these off here. Ooh! I did not expect that to be so aggressive. Holy shit. Well, there you go. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was a full-on exorcism. Holy shit. That went way better than expected. I mean, I did get kind of an easy ghost, so they went easy on me this time. Let's go. I also really want to see the... Oh. Wait a minute. Maybe we're not done. Maybe we're not done. Wait a minute. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Hello? Are we done? Or are we not done? Are you still here, lady? Did we do it? I'm not sure. I'm assuming you're gone. Let, let's check my. Let's check if the objective got completed or if there's still something left to do. Did yeah, they do new atmosphere? They got. They got a, a lot of detail to all the maps. Let's see. Did I do it? I did do it. So why was she still there then? Dun, dun, dun. We'll have to do it again. Well, I. I, I guess that was it. Let's go. Uh, does this count as a small map? Or I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because in this game you get, like, uh... Like, the payout is fixed... Per... Per map. Like, the, every map... Every map that's, like... Wait, how much money is that? Holy shit. Find the correct ghost type? A thousand. I think this is... Probably similar to Cyclone Street House, I were to guess. So this one gives you the le least amount of money. This one gives you a little more. This one gives you the most because it's the biggest map. And then I'm assuming this one because it's... Kind of, like, way smaller than the hospital. It's gonna give you more, like, Cyclone Street House. Uh, but I'll have to compare that. Anyway, that was a pretty solid mission. We did literally everything. Uh, let's, uh, do that again. Let's just hop it again. And then, uh, we'll do one more mission on that house. And then after that, we'll hop into Abandoned House. Which also has gotten a full, uh, or it's gotten, like, a second floor added to it. So let's check it out. Kurosawa House. Here we are again. Uh, do we, what are the objectives this time? So we do have the painting mystery again. We do have the katana mystery again, but then we have performed the ritual on the pentagram. Okay, so two of them are going to be the same. So there's always going to be katanas. It's always going to be paintings. And then this one will be random. I see. 
Uh, we have Mario, Mario Melendez, I see. And then we have to just find the items as the as the exorcism. I see, I see. Uh, let's grab. I mean, we're we're not gonna be hunted right away, hopefully. And if if so, I'm gonna be very sad. Let's hop back in. Uh, I need to check if I've missed any rooms. Is there like anything out here? Because this also looks very pretty. Is this just the way you get into the map? How the fuck did you park this? I guess you came in through here. I thought that was like a gate getting in here. I was like, why are you blocking this gate? Can we go back here? I can't open this. I can't go in here. Oh, you're going, but no, 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 no. <laughs> but I was, I thought I was opening that box. Why is there a chair here? What are you, what are you doing here? You're just sitting watching me go in and out. Stop it. Stop the insects. Hi there, ghost. Are you going to be near the entrance again? There did seem to be like some crazy interactions here. Like I only saw it for a split second, but the ghost did like some kind of ritual over here. It was really short though. Uh, we could ask the board where the ghost is, but I think we're just going to walk around and try and find it. Because the board is like... It's like a noob trap. You try and use it and you drop all your sanity and then just immediately die. Um, let's see. Beautiful. Gotta be something with the tree as well, right? Maybe some secrets here. Blossom. Almighty tree. I'm just looking for text on the ground. I don't see any text. Is there a cockroach on the EMF? That's just the way it works. It's bugged, okay? I'm hungry. Is there a ghost nearby too? We're just just cooking up a meal. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. So the paintings aren't always upright. You have to go around the map. To, so this time I have to align it to the right. Okay. I don't know why this painting is bugged. Like it's not filling the whole screen. But yeah. So I have to I have to align it to the right this time. So keep that in mind. The ghost's gonna be back here. Hello, ghost. Hello, Mario. It's me, Mario. Oh my god, that's the brightest light of all time. I love it here. Can we open these? Can't interact with any of this. Have they added another achievement? I'm checking. They have added another. They've added one more achievement. Let's see. What's the achievement? Rev oh no, it's still the same achievement. Revive your friend with a tarot card. <laughs> I tried that and then I died. God damn it. Okay, so here we got to bring the cruise or the katanas again, not crucifix. Hello, ghost. Is anyone here? Mario, are you here? Mario Melendez? Yeah, I don't know how they came up with this EMF design. This is like the most insane EMF. Like, I don't think there's any basis in real. Oh, hi there. It's floating. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you just put something in there? The interactions are really cool as well. Like, that's what I'm talking about. So that would only happen if the ghost is here. Oh. I say any? Chromatic aberration out the wazoo. Excuse me. That's why I'm going to have to get the hell out of here. It is not cold here, though. Wait a minute. Is it in the room next to this? Like in the hunger- Oh god, I'm dying. I'm just- ah! Holy shit, that was really cool. <laughs> Damn, dude. Alright, I'm out, I'm out. Get me out of here. <laughs> I think those are my favorite. I think the map sequence are fun. Uh, but I really like how many secret interactions there are like because th those provide replayability like you'll never know Because based on where the ghost is you'll get completely new interactions that you've never seen before Anyway, that probably ruined my sanity. No, I'm still at 90%. I'm totally fine Um, let's just set up evidence then if, if they're gonna be so so nice to us Probably over there. Is that gonna I'm guessing that's like the ghost Because that's the one thing that's always confusing I didn't really register it until I played with CJ and he like mentioned it. It's a little weird that there's like many ghosts on every map. Like when there's interactions like that, that ghost model right there isn't actually the model that the ghost is, which means that it kind of feels disconnected from the ghost. It feels like the house is like attacking you rather than the ghost itself. Uh, I'm just going to place this down here. Are you here? It is definitely here. Okay. Stop it. 
throwing something down. Can you hear me? Spirit, can you speak? Hello, where are you? Are you here? Can you hear me? Are you French? Where are you? Are you... Are you naked? Are you grandma? Where are you? Speak to me. I don't think it's gonna speak to me. At least not now. This EMF is probably over. I need to... Going crazy. EMF 3. I like that the... I like that they went, like, they, they, they paid attention to all the details. It's not just the same interactions you've seen on the other maps. Like, with the items, like, the, the baskets shoving around. Like, they're not reusing any of the interactions. Which also means that, like, they're pretty ambitious then. Like, if they want to add a new map every two to three months, and every one of them is going to have completely new interactions, that's going to keep them really busy. Let me grab... Let's just set up the evidence as long as I'm fine. I'm still 80... 90%. Uh, we're gonna set up all the evidence and then we'll grab a... Then we'll grab a, a crucifix. Hopefully it's not an early hunter. I think that... That's the one thing I still don't know about this game. I'm still such a noob. I have, like, no idea what half the ghosts do. It's also because some of them, like, we don't have any data. They really need to figure that out. Like, they really need to come up with some kind of plan. Like, I don't know what the plan is here. Like, what's the plan with these ghosts? Is this just gonna be the way forever? Like, to, to a certain degree, like, I know it's early access, but to a certain degree, it feels like... They don't, the devs don't really know yet what they want to do with some of the game. Like, I don't really know what they want with the hunts, for example. Like, the hunts feel unfinished because there's no hiding spots. Like, there's no... There's no gameplay in the hunts. You either die or you... Or you have a crucifix. Like, there's, there's, there's no... There's no gameplay there. Uh, and the same thing with some of the ghosts. Like, some of the ghosts just said, like... It says, like, uh, we hate it. we don't have any data, and there's, like, no in-game way to figure it out. I think what would be really cool is if you have a Guipo, and you... It's EMA 5? I think it was EMA 5 for a second. Yeah, yes. That's cool. Uh, what would be cool is if you exercise a Guipo, it'll, like, unlock some of the... Like, it'll unlock one of the, the weakness or strength. And then if you get it another time, you'll unlock the, the second part, just to, like, have an in-game way of unlocking it. Because uh, right now I have, like, no idea. Like, every time I see this ghost, I'm like, I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Like, I have no idea. I have no idea how to figure those out. If you, if you know, like, maybe, maybe the community has, like, <laughs> uh, data mined these ghosts. Maybe if you go into the code, you could figure it out. Like, if you decompile it with, like, a decompiler. But I feel like that's not necessarily what they want us to do. Uh, and they probably have, like, uh, encrypted the code. Or encrypted the code anyway. There's very few games you can decompile. Uh, the only game I've ever done it for is Welcome to the Game. Do we need a candle? We don't need a candle, right? We could bring in a candle, though. Let's just take a pill. I did it for Welcome to the Game because we have to, like... That game is so mysterious, we have to figure out what the fuck was going on. I'm gonna take in one of those things. Sometimes if you put the easel too close to the ESG, they won't work. Okay. You have to remember if you learned it. I mean, the thing is, I don't know how you would learn it. Like, what would be your strategy to figure out a ghost ability? Like, if it's anything like Phasmo, the ghosts are so unique... I would never be able to figure it out without, like, having someone tell me or, like, following the patch notes. Like, I, I have huge respect for people who are, like, hopping into Phasmo right now and are, like, <laughs> completely confused by everything that's going on. It must be a huge learning curve. Like, I have just the... I have the advantage of, of joining early when the game was, like, super simple and they've slowly added more and more mechanics. So, for me, it was, like, small bits of knowledge compounding over time instead of, like, one giant waterfall of knowledge all at once. Which is kind of what I feel like every time I play a new ghost hunting game. I'm like, holy shit. There's so much, so much here to discover. I'm overwhelmed. The no data ghosts do have proper behavior that exists within the game. In the official Discord, there's a whole channel dedicated to doing ghost research on the no data ghosts to uncover the abilities those that manage to uncover the true abilities of the ghost get a unique role for the discord channel has it been done yet like i because you could just have like an impossible to figure out uh ghost ability right like i feel like it's it would be really hard to without any hints figure out a ghost from scratch like that's 
Because you have to, you have to, like, first of all, you have to think of what it could be. Then you have to test your null hypothesis. And maybe the null hypo, like, maybe testing the hypothesis you have is even, is like basically impossible. And you only get one of those ghosts. Because there's so many ghosts in this game. If you want to test one of them, it'll take a really long time before you get that ghost. You have been able to figure out that the Nana is super active. Yeah, I guess you can do it in like broad terms like that. You could like figure out is a ghost super active? Is a ghost like infecting your sanity? Does it early hunt? Like those like those type of abilities you can figure out. But like, oh, but like for example, something like the Moroi, it cursing you when you use the spirit box or something like. That would be really difficult to figure out. But maybe, maybe, maybe there's some absolute scientists uh, discovering this game. Oh. Can you give us a sign? You're throwing this around nonstop. I saw that. You can't hide it from me. Let's talk again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? What time is it? Doesn't work here. It only works in the attic. Where are you? Can you speak? Spirit, can you talk? Can you hear me? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Can you speak? Spirit. All right. I'm going to say it's not Spirit Box. Hopefully. I'm going to rule out Spirit Box, which means it's not an Abaddon. Get out of here now. Get out of here now. It's pretty active. I'd say it's probably not a mare. I would say it's not ectoplasm. Oh, it, it can be ectoplasm stains. Ripperoni. Uh, can you... Can you give me a sign? Can you draw on the easel? Can you... You can ask for ESG, right? Can you... Is it like, can you show yourself? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Can you draw on... Can you manifest yourself? Can you manifest yourself? Manifest. Do something. Show yourself. Manifest? I'm not doing it. I don't so let's 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 think right so the gin is super super active the oni is super fast right and then the mare is super quiet manifest is there any command for the easel as well i don't know and then the spirit up box would be abaddon i think i think that's unlikely the, the That's pretty sick, dude. Oh, don't break the light, please. It's flicking. That means it is not fingerprints. Easy peasy. Well, then we kind of know it's a gin because it's obviously too active for a mare. So then we're probably going to get ESG here. Can you manifest? Show yourself. Manifest? It would have definitely left fingers on there. It flicked the light so many times. Manifest. Yeah, I did also use one of those Fulus, but I, that was a really long time ago, I feel. Manifest. Manifest. Ghost. Can a Jin hunt early? Is there like a wiki for this game with all the ghosts? Because I, I barely know them. Uh, abusing Moon, thank you for the three months. Jin can hunt early? Manifest. I don't have another ESG, so I can't really, like, make it show up more. Maybe it is a mare. It's kind of quiet. Can you draw on the easel? P can you manifest? Oh, my God. That's really fucking cool. <laughs> Wait, the book is floating. That's so cool. Oh, was there someone standing there for a second? I don't know if I saw that correctly. Dude, and this is just one of the rooms. Every single room ha has, like, different interactions. I think that's my favorite part of this game. Because that, that gives more replayability. Like, that's... That's, like... You know in Ghost Exile when you play the game and you get that, like, red ghost event where the whole map, like, turns into this, like, bloody fleshy mass? That's, like, my favorite thing that happens in that game. Because it's, like, every time it happens, you're like, holy shit, that was so cool, I want more of that. But there is not much more of that in Ghost Exile. So I'm glad to see, like, in this game, it's not just one of those interactions. Like, there's more than one. Can you do something? Can you give us a sign? Manifest! Manifest. 
Draw yourself. Draw something. Dude, I hate ESG so much. I hate it with a passion. It's so fucking annoying. Manifest. I'm gonna move this around too. I'll move it over here. Manifest? Ah! Oh, God! Wait, it's ignoring me? Wait, it's another Abaddon? Wait, huh? Where's my spirit box? Dude, you gotta fast, my my dude. He's got an insane butt. Wait, where's my spirit box? <laughs> dude, he's a chonker. Is that it? Oh. <laughs> Wait, did he eat? Oh my god. Dude, you're making a mess. Wait, I'm so insanely lucky. This is like the easiest ghost in the entire game and I've I mean it's not the easiest ghost when you're starting out. Wait, how the fuck did I get spirit box? So spirit box is way harder to get than I than I thought then. Ghost, are you are you back here? What are you doing? Alright, well we can fill it in. We can say this is it's in fact spirit box. Wait. Right? Spirit box? Spirit box? Yes, it's an Abaddon, because it completely ignored me when I was holding the crucifix. Just flick the light switch. Can you hear me? Where are you? Can you speak? Hello, ghost. Can you speak? Where are you? Hello? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Is it hunting? I think it might be hunting. Is it in here now? Uh, babies! Fuck! Fuck, dude! It's going absolute sicko mode. All right, I'm gonna do focus on getting the. F what did What did I need to do? I need to stand on the pentagram or something. I need to find the pentagram somewhere. Holy shit! Everything is going crazy. Oh god! Wait, it doesn't. Even if you walk straight into it, it doesn't even kill you. There's like. You're invincible when you're ho I thought it was like it doesn't target you, but if you touch it, it'll still so yeah That genuinely means that's so stupid. That's so fucked up if you're playing with oh here I found it. This is the pentagram. What time is it? There's a lady too, right? Wait, I thought Wait, the lady was a random event last time? I thought the lady behind the thing was related to it. Anyway. Princess, thank you for the nine months. Got him. This one's so easy. You literally just have to stand on it for like a minute and then it's completed. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Let's go. Easy peasy. Oh, wait, do I still have to stand on it? There you go. Okay, that's that's one completed. Now we have to bring the katanas. I'm just gonna fuck the spare box. Um, that's the attic. There's not much. There's nothing else in the attic, right? So, this is one interaction. Oh, hi there. This is one interaction. Then there is this interaction, which is devil. There. So that's two. Then there is the I'm hungry, which is three. Um, is there one more? I think there's one more. I said that I forgot. Like these are fixed interactions. Uh, let me drop off the Donna over here. Because if you compare that to something like Cyclone Street House, I think Cyclone Street House has like. Oh, you you can also do something at the entrance. Uh, Cyclone Street House has like seven different interactions. Like it's pretty nuts. Pretty nutty. You have the bear. Very lucky to have this katana spawn here every time. This is the rabbit. Okay, one more. Oh, damn, dude. Holy shit. We should also look at the paintings because the paintings... Okay, so this one's pointing upwards. I love how I don't have to pay attention to the ghost at all. I'm just safe as long as I hold out this crucifix. Uh, check the bathroom. Maybe there's something in here. Katana? Any katanas? Any paintings? No paintings. No katanas. 
It has a pretty good spreadsheet. I need to check the I need to check the ghost info. I mean, it's gonna be hard. The thing is, because there's a lot of ghosts in this game that have similar abilities to Ghost and Phasmo, but they're like a different ghost. Like for example, um, I th which one was it? Oh, the Gorio is literally the same. I didn't even realize. Hantu, I think. Yeah, it curse. If you talk to it, it curses you. So the Hantu is like the Moroi. And then I think there's more ghosts like that. So that like, I mean, Phasmo is proof of that. Back in the day, they had, uh, wait, so you can light the candles here, people said? I, I wanna try lighting the candles. Light the candles. Light the candles? Is it in the house? It's probably in the house, huh? Um, Light the candles. Aha, I see. Oh, it says it right there. Light the candle. Okay, so that's another one. So that's one. Light the candle. Demon. Hungry. And what time is it? So there's four different, like, uh, fixed interactions on this map. And, like, uh, a ton of unique ones. Or a ton of random ones. I have the... Uh, I have the last katana, but I don't know... This painting is pointing to the left. Okay. And then the last one we can just brute force. So let's go. Ivy, thank you for the prime. Not gonna be able to kill me. Stinky idiot. Oh, well, that broke. Get away from me. I really like that when the hunts end in this game, it doesn't turn off all the lights. I find that so stupid in Phasmo. I don't know why the fuck they do that. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we gotta point this one to the right. I think like this, yes. This one just goes upwards. This one is right, and then this one we just rotate until it clicks. There we go! And we have to find uh, three items again. Luckily, you don't have to hold them and bring them over here. You just put them into your, like, special inventory or something. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, Phasmo is proof of that. They... Back in the day, they had uh, evidence for the ghosts, and I, like, after playing it for, like, a full year, memorized all the evidence. Then, one day, they decided to change all of the evidence for every single ghost, so that they have different evidences. And ever since that day, I don't remember any of the evidences, and I don't think I'll ever will. <laughs> it's just, it's like, it was so, it was so, uh, like stuck into my brain in the old way that there's like no chance i'll ever be able to relearn it Ravuska, thank you for the 14. okay well that should be it is this thing fixed here or was it just a really random interaction that the lady did there I'm curious easy peasy it's definitely one of the easier maps like, I, I still think I, I need to check out the abandoned house map. I hope they increase the income, the amount of money you get for the abandoned house, because they've even made it a bigger map now. Oh, my God. Uh... Jesus. He dead. <laughs> Now, is she gonna be here again? Is this like a fixed interaction or what now? Or is this just random? Jumps. Wait! That was like an insane coincidence. It's not supposed to do that interaction there. That was just a ghost like lingering, doing like a lingering ghost event. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway. Revenant spear, but no, the Revenant was EMF5, uh, Fingerprints and writing. That's the old Revenant, and I have no idea what the new Revenant is. I think it's Ghost Orbs or something. Uh, in Phasmo, we're talking about. Okay, so we did it once again. Let's go. Easy peasy. Uh, now I want to check out the abandoned house. Obviously, we're not done with this map. We're coming back, but I want to check out the other content as well. Another... Wait, I got... Oh, I got the same amount of money there. Uh, let's go over to the abandoned house this time, which they've added a new floor to. Check it out. Also, we want to get 50,000 so we can buy the new safe house, which <laughs> that's going to be a big paycheck or a big amount of money, but we'll try. Uh, throw in all the stuff. Oh, baby, here we are. Uh, what are our objectives? Collect ghost orbs, ritual, and take a photo of the ghost. Okay, wait. I do have a photo cam. Let's go. 
I took one. I prepared for that. Um, I am immediately gonna run up the stairs. So this is the first map. Uh, which is- this is probably gonna also be in the demo then. Because I think in the demo you can go to this map as well. Is this the only ghost hunting game with a demo? Let's see it. So, previously, the ups- <laughs> Fuck. Previously, the upstairs here was blocked, but now we can go upstairs, which means there's more secrets. Maybe. Not that many rooms here. What the hell? Why is this hallway just- Stopping. What is this upstairs? What the fuck? <laughs> this is just an immediate dead end. That's a dead end. Is there only one room. Wait, it's only one bathroom. Are you <laughs> okay? Well, never mind. <laughs> okay, I thought I I don't know. When I read the bad shots, I was like, oh god, this map is gonna be so massive now. But it's literally just a bathroom. What the fuck is this bathroom? Maybe there's a way to get. Maybe there's a way to get in secret rooms here there's got to be secret rooms right why the fuck would there just be a bat this layout is completely nonsensical why the fuck would there just be a bathroom upstairs what is this insane house layout this doesn't make any sense what the fuck is this the house from edith finch by the way kind of looks like it the setup uh, well, I guess that's a private bathroom if you want to take a- <laughs> you want to take a special bath. I mean, we're still gonna check because this is like my favorite map in the game because it's- I don't know. I just love the- like, it's very detailed. I- the- this Cyclone Street House map is also really, really good. I want to play ball or ball. Ball- there it comes. Was it flickering- flicking light switches over here? Yes, it was. I think it flicks this light switch. Holding here. Throwing stuff in the hallway, I think. Magna! <laughs> Every time, dude. Every time. Victoria! Like, I do think... I was expecting at least one of these. I am missing like a secret area. Maybe I have just, maybe I'm just assuming I've seen it all. Maybe there's still a secret area on Kuro Kurosawa because I really love the secret areas. I think that's, I guess a super cool idea. But if you, wait a minute, dream? If I, how does this work? If you stay in here for a while, it will eventually close the door, right? Just like... Will it? Can I just chill here for a little bit? Because I haven't seen it in a while. So many pixelated paintings over here. It never closes the door. I don't know. Maybe I, I had that happen to me when I first started playing this map. But never since. I don't know if it's just a rare interaction or if I'm doing it wrong or something. It's a 50% lock-in. I almost find that unbelievable because I have... Every time I go into this map, I go into that area. And it has never locked me in in like... 20 su successive games. Like, I must have been... I must be the luckiest person alive. Or it's just extremely rare. Anyway, I just dropped that right on... How is that balancing? That's magic right there. All right, let's get some stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw my flashlight here. Probably we're gonna regret doing that, but whatever. If you say calm down, it'll shut. I can assure you it doesn't, because I used to, I used to always say calm down, and it would never shut. What the fuck is going on? And then people said it was. Oh, I should like not say calm down, and then it would shut. But that also didn't work, so I don't know. Revless, thank you for the five months. Yeah, I don't really know why they added the upstairs here. That feels like a, like a, you know that Reddit that's like, boss, I did it. <laughs> Where it's just like, or what's the Reddit called? I forgot. I don't know if some, anyone knows what I'm talking about. It's like a Reddit all about people like doing their job, like the bare minimum. It feels like they just wanted to put it in the, I'm trying, this seems more cynical than I mean it, but it sounds like they just wanted to put like something on the patch notes 
and they were like, oh, we're gonna put on the patch notes uh, that we added an extra floor. Uh, just kidding, it's just a bathroom. <laughs> I don't understand. Why would you, like, why not wait releasing this content until you actually have, uh, until you've actually, like, expanded the upstairs properly? Because there's, like, no reason for the upstairs to exist right now. It's just a bathroom. Also, it closed this door. I'm just gonna place these here. Oh, it's freezing again. Is it gonna be another fucking Abaddon? I swear to God. Where are you? Are you here? You can press F now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you speak? Can you talk to me? Are you an Abaddon, you piece of trash? I'm gonna assume... Oh, the light's broken. I'm gonna assume it's not that, but that's what I said last time too, and then it ended up being it anyway. There's no ectoplasm either. Hi there, Grandma. Grandpa too! Wait, what the fuck is this painting? It's like Grandpa with a... Oh! What the hell? Okay, I don't see... Oh, it's closed the door. I need to grab a... Why, when I drop an item, does my flashlight turn off? I don't really understand. There, maybe there's a secret upstairs. Wait, we should check that. Maybe there's, like, a secret passageway. If you say something, you can open up an extra door. Can't turn on this fucking light because it broke. God damn it. No ghost goop. There, I mean, because that's the thing in this game. Like, there's lots of secret areas. If you say the right words, you can unlock them. I mean, there's how many secret areas? There's Limbo and there's Victoria, right? Are those the only two? Those might be the only two. Because I don't think there's one in the hospital. Uh, let's grab this now. This as well. Oh, I don't have any more inventory space. What's behind the ghost with the knife? The ghost with the knife? Probably sarcastic. Thank you for the 12. Yeah, maybe there's so let, let's check it again. Maybe I maybe I uh wrote it off too quickly. It just it just seemed so silly to me. To only have a bathroom. I need to grab my flashlight though. I don't want to be caught with my pants down in the bathroom. You made this game? <laughs> Smiley face. Oh, easy fingerprints. Wait, do we already have? No, we don't have EMA five this time. We have freezing. We have fingerprints. Re we have a new set of ghosts this time. Revenant, Agash, Oni, Gull. Revenant. They're very unstable ghosts. Very unpredictable. I know these ghosts can early hunt, so that's scary. I need to hold out my my uh, thing. Revenant. What else? A gash. Strength. It moves much faster in cold environments, so it's a hauntu. It's a hauntu. <laughs> it's a hauntu. I see. Uh, then we have Oni and Go. Oni, we've. Oh. What the fuck? We have Oni, which is just known to be very fast, and then Go. They can get angry and hunt if you swear. Okay. Oh. Fuck. Let's check upstairs, though. Throwing stuff around here. I'm gonna drop this on the ground. What the fuck is going on? Sh chill out. Oh, it doesn't have collision when you <laughs> when it moves like that. It thought I was like, stop moving the fucking chair. We get it. We get it. Okay, let's check upstairs. There's something behind the ghost with a knife. People said. Ghost with the knife. Where's the ghost with the knife? What are you guys talking about? I don't... Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. The sheet smiling ghost with the knife. Oh, there's something else. Oh, wait a minute. No? Yeah, what is that place? Excuse me? How do we get there? Let me through you, peas. Oh, 
Open the door. Can I go upstairs? What is that place? <laughs> I... That's a, that's also upstairs. It's not released yet. Oh, okay. Wait. Why didn't they wait with releasing this until they released that as well? So I'm guessing this is going to be connected to that area then. And then they're going to add something over here as well. I just don't I just don't really get it. I don't really get why this exists right now. But maybe maybe that's maybe maybe that's my cynical ass uh being critical for no reason but i just it just seems a little weird to have it upstairs with only a bathroom it seems a little it seems a little out of pocket sneak peek a sneak peek into the bathroom what's the sneak peek oh we got writing nice wait we have all the evidence easy peasy it's a revenant okay wait i'm glad i didn't die yet uh let's see we have so this this ghost they're very unpredictable very Ghost, ghost arms! What the fuck? Weakness, if they decide to stay calm, they may, may make it easier for you to find them. How the fuck do you pick up the ghost arms? You're just spam E, right? Come over here! Oh my god, they're going upstairs. You're so annoying. Okay, I got him. Fuck! <laughs> I hate it here. You stupid ghost orb. Okay, I got him. Nice. We needed to do pentagram and photo of the ghost as well, right? So pentagram, I didn't even go into this room. This probably has the the pentagram or something. It does not. Oh, I hear creepy noise. That's always plays when you go in there, I think. The loudest noise of all time. Holy shit. Uh, is it down here or is it going to be upstairs? It is upstairs, unless I missed it in the room of the ghost. Upstairs pentagram. In the bathroom. Cursed bathroom. Never mind, it's not here. Never mind. Yeah, it would be real nice if you could hide here. Like, this could be a hiding spot. Then there'd at least be a point to the bathroom. The smiling ghost kid. Yeah, he, he changes facial expression, right? Because he's not always looking like that. He's not always angry. What I hope they did, and I'm assuming they did. I actually, I'm assuming they didn't, but I wish they would. Because on Kurosawa, right? When you pick up the, the like, items you need for the ritual, they go into a special inventory. I hope they did that here as well. Because that is the only reason this map is so hard. Is because in the late game, it's really, like, you don't have many inventory slots open. Where the fuck is this pentagram? Maybe I don't need to do pentagram. Oh, it's in the basement. I forgot there's a basement in this map. I forgot there's a basement. Yeah, this map is so big. Rainbow, thank you for the 20. I love this map. It's very cool. Very detailed. Cyclone Street House is also very good, though. It is here. I see. Bag. Now we can finally teabag the ghost. I don't think there's a bathroom in the basement. Life fail. Thank you for the nine months. I should really check my sanity. This thing lasts forever. Better not be killing me here. I think the crucifixes only work once, right? In this game. That's a little spooky. Got him. You done, please? Yeah, let's go. Okay, now I need to take a ghost photo, which they... I think they made a lot easier now, because you can just ask the ghost to show itself, and then it usually will show itself. The door is closed. Uh-oh. Oh, it probably hunted, though, then. Because why else would the door be closed? I did not do that. Oh, I need to take some pills. I, the ghost I really want to go against is the demon. If it decides to kill someone, it will be very hard to stop. I think the demon ability is literally, if it decides to hunt, it will never stop hunting. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Which is kind of funny. That's pretty fucked up. 
Uh, easy peasy. I'm just gonna take all the pills to be at 100. And then we just need to take a ghost photo. What are the hunts work in this game? They're a little strange. They feel kind of unfinished in my opinion. Uh, there's really nothing you can do during the hunts. It's just run away from the ghost and pray you live. Or like loop the ghost around an object. But there's very few looping spots. Like in this map, you have a looping spot right here. Around this like inner... Oh, fuck. Even after I took uh, pills up to 100% sanity? Are you fucking kidding me, mate? Well, at least I, I can't really take a ghost photo. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Uh, are you coming over here? I have to scroll upwards for this. If you come over here, I'll try and take a photo. What the fuck are you hunting me right now? This is fucked. Can I leave? Okay, that was just a really short hunt. I don't know what that was. Um, we need to take a ghost photo. These paintings are sick. Hopefully it'll do something. I don't know if it's still here. I don't think the ghost can change ghost room in this game at least, which is nice. Spirit, can you show yourself? Show yourself. Show yourself. Do something. Show yourself. Ma no, it's not Mario. I forgot the name. Ooh. Can you do something? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Nothing is going on. What the fuck? I got him, dude. Nice ass. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, get the hell out of here. So now we need to find the fingers, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. So these. Why? Dude, they should really should balance this map. If they're gonna do that on the other map, where if you pick up an item, it goes into, like, your quest inventory, why did they do that here? That would make this map so much more bearable. Like, you already make the least amount of money on this map, and then you also need to deal with, like, bringing five fingers, which takes up five inventory slots, which you don't even have five inventory slots, by the way. Like, this map is, is hugely unbalanced compared to the rest, and you make the least amount of money, yet it's my favorite map. It's like... I mean, I know I'm salty because it's my favorite map, but I wish I could play it more. Because I just feel so hugely disincentivized from playing on this map. Uh, that is like cutting into your enjoyment of it. I don't I don't want to be paid pennies for all, all this hard work. There we go. Okay, that's two. We need five. Hey, you could put the fingers in your pockets. Come on now. You could hang them on like a sick necklace. The geek pit, thank you for the 10 months. I wonder... I'm assuming you can uh, see the stats of how many people play this game online. I'm assuming how many people, like, actually actively play it. I know people love, uh... Or used to enjoy watching it a lot. Like, when this game first launched, people were like... We we, we got our Phasmo killer. This is gonna be the, the, the new biggest ghost hunting game. But I've rarely heard people talk about it recently. Kind of gotten off the radar. Yeah, there was a hunt. That's why I'm hiding over here. So I was hoping that the... Or I'm hoping that the update, like, revitalizes that. Because I do really think this game is interesting. Oh, God. I want to see more of it. What the fuck, dude? What is going on? Are you done? Fine. Easy peasy. Uh, there might be figures upstairs as well. 2800 daily players before the update. 5000 after. 5000 is really good for an indie game. That's amazing. Oh god, what the hell is going on? That's a lot of players. Like concurrent players or daily players? I'm assuming you're talking about concurrent players. So, like, at one time, there is 5,000... 3,300 players right now. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, this game is doing well for itself. There's no fingers up here! 
Fuck this bathroom. I can't even flush the damn toilet. I hate it here. Good night, Kiero. Thank you for the 11. This is stupid. Maybe back here. God damn it. Dude, I hate revenants because they hunt constantly. Pieces of shit. Like, you can eat as many sanity pills as you want. They'll still be just be hunting. Yeah, there's gotta be one back here. Oh, there it is. And then we need one more, which is probably gonna be around the ghost room, because I kind of didn't even look there. I just ran away. Cappuccino, Cat Pacino, thank you for the three. And Fenrir, thank you for the 15. And Bad Rank Fever, thank you for the 12. Yeah, the spirit can always hear you, so I'm just, like, yelling for the ghost to come kill me. And one more. Which I'm just gonna run to the ghost room. I don't- I need to have a second crucifix right now. Let me quickly leave. I don't want to be- Because the thing with the ghosts in this game is that they can hunt so fast. Like, you'll use a crucifix on them, and then, like, after 10 seconds or something, they can hunt again. Which means... You can't make it out of the map before the ghost hunts again if you have a ghost at the back there. Which is pretty... Pretty spooky. Okay, 69% sanity. Perfect. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ruin that number. There we go. Take another crucifix. Nice indeed. Yeah, chain chain hunts can get pretty, pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Um... Yeah, I hope, I hope that when we finish this, we'll get, like, a, a similar amount of money for this map as we got for the other one. I hope they balance that. Because I need to make money to get this new safe house, man. You can, we, this cannot be a good game until you can pet the cat. Hey, they do have a cat, though. Where's the cat in Phasma, huh? I mean, they have cat toys. But no cat yet. Oh, there it is. Alright. Go, go, go. Literally just have to throw it down. If I get caught now, that's totally fine. What's the point of a cat if you can't pet it? I would- I think the cat would disagree with that. <laughs> there's no maple picture. I think the cat would say there's a pretty big point to a cat. There we go. Nice. GG easy. Teabag the ghost. Best update. Teabag update. It could totally like turn this into hiding spots. I don't know why they don't. Like, there must be some kind of reasoning for it. Because you know it was... Because that's the thing. A lot of the time, and that's the, the thing... That's why I don't ever mind. Like, if I disagree with a mechanic, as long as there's, like, a reasoning for it and the devs have thought about it, that's totally fine. I think my pet peeve with mechanics is always... is if if I feel like there hasn't gone any thought into it. For example, you guys uh, might remember recently I was harping on Phasmo because... That was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Uh, because they have... The Banshee in Phasmo is bugged at least i thought it was bugged it cannot use its ability to roam to the target if the target is not on the same floor as the player which i thought was really stupid and really annoying because it led to me like thinking it wasn't a banshee all the time even though it was but then i asked dk why that was the case also look at that they did increase the money nice so that you do actually get a proper amount of money now for this map as well good okay We're uh, the map has been rectified. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll continue that anecdote in a bit because I want to check out the lighthouse map now because apparently they've added an upper floor here as well. Oh my god, this map is so much brighter now. What the fuck? I thought this was... This used to be a map that you... Like, it used to be completely dark. You couldn't see shit. Excuse me? It's just daytime now? What the hell? <laughs> When is that? That's... I mean, I actually really like the rain. Maybe it's random? Maybe the weather is random? Because so I really like the, the rain. Oh, this is just nothing back here. Now you can go up to the light, I think? At least, at least that's what... Yeah, you can! What the fuck is this painting? 
Oh, baby, here we go. This is why we want the lighthouse. Turn on the light. Oh, wait, it's already on. Okay, well, I mean, it's you can... That's pretty nice. I would... Well, I... I... That's the one thing that sucks about the new Conrad Sievis' map, is that you can't actually get up to the lighthouse. Because, like, this is all they had to do. Just, like, put some water around it, like, make it an island. That's cool. I like this. There's also a kitty, of course. Nice. Alright, well, th that was what they added. They just added the upstairs here. I don't know if they also added, like, new... If this is, like, the only weather, or if they've added the random weather system... Because I really liked the rain. It was just a little too dark. Because the rain made it feel very, like, comfy. Um, anyway. Oh my god, you're already so chunky. Every time the cat eats, they get fatter. Uh, let's go... Let's go back to the... Actually, we have a daily objective. We have a daily objective to go to the hospital. So why don't we do one game on the hospital? Let's just do all the maps. Let's just compare all the maps uh, to, the, to the new map. And, like, uh, show you all the maps if you have never seen them before. Let's go to the hospital now. Oh boy, here we are. The hospital. Uh, we have Dorothy Vaughn. Vaughn? I see. Also, it's case 8000. I can assure you I have not played 8000 games. Let's grab this and this. Hopefully we're not going to get insta-hunted. That would be very sad. So as I was saying, um, at first, I was like kind of annoyed with the Phasmo devs because I was like, this... This bug is super stupid. But then I asked DK, why does the Banshee... Like, it was basically what I was told when I complained about it, is this is intended. And then when I asked why was it intended, I got no answer. It was like, I I don't know. Uh, but then DK came in and DK said like, well, we tried it. And this is always the thing. What you gotta remember is when you're seeing like a game... Usually, a lot of testing has gone into making that thing come to fruition. So, for example, in Phasmo, they did testing with the new Banshee, and they allowed it to roam no matter where uh, the, the target player was. Like, if he was on the ground floor, on the basement, on the, whatever floor it was. What would happen, especially on large maps, is that the ghost would literally never be in the ghost room, because it would always be following the player around. Um, which led to extremely confusing games that were, like, almost impossible to finish. So they changed it so that the ghost will always only roam, or the Banshee will only roam to the player when it's on the same floor. Which, as soon as I heard that explanation, I was like, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. So that's what I'm... So at first I was annoyed. As soon as I heard that explanation from the developers themselves, I was totally fine. Because I was like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This is, this is <laughs> I didn't think about that. So... Even though it was annoying from a player perspective initially, once you know the thought process that has gone into something, it, it you can understand it. So that's why I'm like, why no hiding in this game? Maybe they've thought about it. Maybe they've tested it out. Maybe there was something with it. I'm just curious, because right now, to me, it seems completely nonsensical to not have some kind of mechanic during the hunt to defend yourself. It just it just feels like it feels unfinished. Like if when I'm playing this game, it feels very rough. Like it's like every time a hunt starts, it's like this, this doesn't feel right. It feels like as soon as the hunting phase of the game starts, it feels like the game falls apart to me. Per, like gameplay wise, it doesn't really work as a ghost hunting game anymore because there's nothing you can do. You just like you either have enough sanity pills to not have it hunt. Like there's to me right now, there only seems to be two choices in the game. You either have enough sanity pills to not get hunted. You have a crucifix or you just die. There's nothing you can do. So I've, I, I either want to hear like an explanation, maybe maybe it'll be, maybe there's some reason for it, or like just do something, because <laughs> I don't understand. Feels weird. I guess I die. Yeah, exactly. Also, that was insane, by the way. We got so lucky with this ghost room, in case you didn't realize. This map is very, very large, so the fact that we found it immediately is huge. Uh, where are you? Can you hear me? Can you speak? What's weird with... Is this the... Oh, I don't know. Previously, when I dropped my item, it would turn off my flashlight. Can you hear me? Can you talk? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you there? Can you talk? Is it in here? Seems to be pretty cold in there. And as soon as I leave, it's getting... Yeah, okay, so it is here. 
I guess I'm just gonna grab some more items. Be nice if they at least gave us some sort of signal a few seconds. I mean, they do. There's like a grace period. But the thing is, if you have nowhere to run, there's like, there's no, there's no game. There's no counterplay. Because like the dev said, like, just, just run away, which is like forehead. <laughs> like, just don't die. Like, that's not really, you can't really ask that of your players. Like, just don't die. <laughs> Like that's that's not a solution. We get we gotta we need something. We need some gameplay here. Um, what's my say? Totally fine, perfect actually. I'm gonna take two of this. Yeah, I think this game's great. I think it. I think it really like. Like I've always been. I, I always do that. I don't because it it seems especially with this game. It just seems like a lot of people put all their eggs in this basket, in the demonologist basket. So then whenever I play it and I have some, like, criticism, uh, I've been getting a lot of comments, like, being angry at me for having anything, like, remotely negative to say sometimes about this game. Because they And then the response will always be like, it's a it's hundred times better than Phasmo. And I'm like, well, it's, like, why, why are you so averse to any... Uh, oh, it's freezing again. To any uh, constructive criticism on the game you enjoy, I fucking roast the shit out of Phasmo all the time. I, <laughs> if you hear me talk about Phasmo on a regular stream, you thought I hate the fucking game, dude. <laughs> oh, but I obviously love the game. <laughs> it's just like that's the thing. If you like. The worst thing that can happen to a game like this and I think that's I think that's also why I tend to sometimes put on like extra like hater pants because I feel like I have to speak twice as loud twice as negatively loud to make up for all the yes men that are surrounding the game because I feel like this game at the moment has way too many yes people that are just like yes 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 everything is perfect everything is the everything needs to stay this way and like I disagree. I think we could, I think this game could greatly improve with, with like some additional, especially gameplay wise. I think map wise, fucking keep it going. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Don't change a thing. I love the maps. I think they're, we're doing a great stuff or you guys are doing great stuff with the maps. Just like gameplay wise, especially, I know people always say like, Ghost aren't invented by Phasmo. Uh, I, I agree. Ghost names are not in are not in are not invented by Phasmo. So seeing all the same ghost names absolutely normal. Um, the one thing, and I know some of the ghosts also have like lore in real life that makes their abilities like that that relates to their abilities. But some of the ghosts in this game are straight up lifted from Phasmo, and that is like just. And I'm saying that not because, like, oh, look at this game, it's a knockoff. I'm just saying that as, like, from a perspective of someone who enjoys ghost hunting games and likes to see different ideas in all of the ghost hunting games. For example, the Gorio is literally the Gorio from <laughs> Phasmo, which it's just one example. The Hantu is literally the Moroi from Phasmo. There's a lot of ghosts in this game that are just, like, ghosts from Phasmo, like... But maybe then they're like in a they they got like uh, they're not the exact same one like the Hantu is not the Hantu but the Hantu is the Moroi and then I think the Agash is the Hantu yeah it moves cold, faster in cold environment it's moving may slow down in a warmer environment which it would make sense to me honestly if the Hantu was the Hantu in Phasmo because Hantus I think are wait isn't Hantu just like the isn't this like the Philip the f uh, I forgot. This is just ghost in some language, isn't it? Actually, never mind then. I thought... Which language is Hantu is ghost again? I forgot. Indonesian. Is that true? Yeah. Indonesian Hantu is the word for ghost. Or Malaysian? I see. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, where's your case, dude? Where's the case ghost? Come on, man. We're slacking. This could have been the the ghost of the game with the first Dutch ghost. Where's my flying Holland or my uh? Oh, there's a flying Dutchman. 
It's uh, ghost riding and freezing. Ghost riding fingerprints are freezing? Dude, I'm insane with it. It's another fucking Revenant. I hate it here. I hate this ghost. <laughs> Why am I getting the same ghost? What's going on, dude? Fuck my life. All right, well, I guess I'm not going to use this then. Can I please pull out my crucifix? But yeah, I would... I would way rather see unique ghost ideas here than just like similar ghosts from Phasmo. And it also makes it extremely confusing for me. I don't know. I guess maybe some people that play this game haven't played a lot of Phasmo, but as someone who's played far too much Phasmo, whenever I play this game, because there's like so many ghosts that have similar behavior, but have a different name, I like, I'm just like at a loss on how to learn the ghost in this game because I have to like constantly like think okay you know the hantu is the agash the agash is the or the the agash is the hantu the hantu is the moro <laughs> like, it's just my brain just doesn't function this way all right revenant so yeah don't take don't don't judge my hater pants as like i don't like the game i actually really like this game i think it's a great uh i think the maps especially are a really cool spin on the concept that we've never seen before I want to see more of that. And I like that they're doubling down on having like two map or one maps or one map every two to three months. That's a really that's a really good up up update cycle if they're gonna keep that up. Uh so we're we got a revenant, which means they're very unpredictable, so this is just gonna be annoying. Uh what do we have to do as our as our objectives? We have to find the salt gun. Oh no, wait, is that did we do that already? Oh yeah, we can. Nice. Is that just it? Isn't there more? Or is it just a salt gun? Forget. I think there's more than just a salt gun. Unless there isn't, in which case. Two others. Okay, I need to check. I need to check in the thing. I don't see any. Oh, there it is. What is this? Oh. It's fucking. I picked it up. I picked up like a bag of salt or ashes or something. Anyway, let me quickly check what it is because I have no idea. I thought some Maria's room. I have really no thoughts. I have no ill ill feelings. I know Psycho, for example, absolutely hate that hates that map because he spent like multiple streams trying to figure out the secret and he never found something. I did not. I just was like, that's not my it's not up to I, I don't really care. I'll let other people figure it out. Okay. We need to find the sitting silhouette. Okay, we need to collect the salt bags. Okay, that's it. Um, so all we need to do is just grab our ectoplasm glass and then like go around the map, find the gun parts and find the salt bags. <clears throat> and uh, and what I... I don't know. If they're going to add like a new map every two months, like after a year, six new maps. I mean, it's probably not going to be six. It's going to be more like four. But after a year having four new maps and they keep that up a few years, like then my, because my main criticism, like besides the having same, like same ghost abilities as some other ghost hunting games that I think would just be more interesting if they had their own ideas here. Uh, and the no hunt, the no gameplay during a hunt. And I, I okay, sorry, no, I'm going, I'm going on a tangent. I've, so to summarize my main complaints, the hunts are feel unfinished. The hunts feel unfinished. The ghosts are very similar to other ghost hunting games. The, um, the objectives are a lot just like finding items. Like all you do during most of the objectives is just going around the map finding items, um, which I think is a little silly. And my and another main complaint of mine is that the difficulties are really annoying in my opinion. I've just been playing on easy because I I. You would think I'm a baby. No, I just like easy more because on easy, the ghosts actually do something. Whenever I play on hard, it's totally doable to fig to like beat the game, but it's just extremely boring because what they've done with the difficulties in this game is that if you're playing on a hard mode, the ghosts do like 25% of the interactions that they do on easy mode. Like they tune down the activity by like an absolute insane magnitude. So if you're playing on hard, you're just sitting in the ghost room, staring at a wall, and the ghosts don't do anything, which I think is really annoying from like a player perspective. I know it makes the game harder. I just don't enjoy it. So I've, I decided to play on easy. So I would highly recommend that if you decide to play this game as well, you just play on easy because it's way more fun. Um, 
but in terms of positives this game is like uh atmospherically graphically it's like amazing like it looks really good it's unreal engine obviously it's gonna look amazing uh like little things like the hands in this game look so realistic <laughs> like it looks like i'm really holding a crucifix here which it's a little thing, but if you look at any other ghost hunting game, <clears throat> Phasmo, fucking lighter hand, looking like a stretched completely out of fucking all the joints are broken. Like the hands in this game are like absolutely like almost completely realistic. Whereas in almost other ghost hunting game, they look completely insane. The maps have really cool interactions. Also, there's not a ghost here this time. What the hell? Usually there's a ghost here. The maps look really cool. Really like the maps. Uh, any more? Nope. We already found one part. We need one more part. Um, and I really like that they have lots of... Because that was another main complaint. Is that the replayability didn't feel too high. Because every time you explore a map, you get the same interaction. Here you're like, wow, I see the same thing again. But... There's a lot of events that only happen when the ghost is in a specific area, which means that you'll only see that if you play a lot. Like if you play a lot in this area, for example, there's like unique interactions with this thing over here. Also, the gun is also ready. Um, and that'll only happen if the ghost is here. And there's like all around the map, there's stuff like that. You saw it in Kurosawa, right? There were lots of interactions that were happening when the ghost was in specific areas. So if they just keep updating and they keep adding new maps, then that replayability complaint is completely invalid because there's just enough maps to... Like, even though the events are scripted a lot... Even though the events are scripted, there's just so much of it that it's like... It's like, it's like Conrad Stevenson's. Even though Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI is completely scripted, it still feels like there's an absolute insane amount of replayability because of the sheer amount of content. And that will be happening to this game as well if they just keep releasing maps. So that's that's a that's a uh, an awesome thing to look forward to. Anyway, we're going to shoot the shit out of this ghost. Get ready to be shot. Got how loud that was. Holy fuck. Uh, do I have... Do I have a board? Yeah, I think if I were to like, I think the three games with the best maps are Demonologist. I don't even, I would say Conrad and Demonologist are almost like tied. Then it's like Phasmo. And then almost all the other Ghost of the games are kind of tied for me. Ghost X, uh, Ghost Exile is like really far at the bottom for me personally. I know they have a ton of maps. They have like 20 maps or something. But every single map in Ghost Exile feels like the exact same map. Like, I, I never... Whenever I go to a map, I don't... I, I can never tell the difference between all of them. So Below! You're right. So Below has amazing go amazing maps as well. I completely forgot about this game, about So Below. Have they done any... They were gonna add me to the game. I, I was supposed to send them, like, some references. I mean, I stream every day. They could just take a screenshot from the stream. Um, so I, I'm assuming they, they got that. They, they figured it out themselves. They figured out how to use the screenshot button. Um, but they were going to add my face to the game or something. <laughs> but I forgot. Because I, I, I got busy, busy with other things. Where the hell is the board? I would not consider Devour a ghost hunting game, no. I think it's a pretty... It's a pretty... It's a pretty broad genre ghost hunting game. Is there a voodoo doll? What the fuck? Is it... There's no cursed item? But... I think the Vower is like... I guess technically it is because you're like exercising a ghost, but... I think the Vower is a Devour style game. I think the Vower, in my opinion... I know it wasn't the first one in that type of game. Like Pacify was earlier. But I think Devour just did it so much better that in my opinion, Devour has like set the standard for the genre. But there is... Like, if I play a game that's like Devour, I will usually say it's a Devour-like game, and I won't say, like, it's a it's a Phasmo-like game. I can't find the Cursed Possession. I guess we're just gonna have to wait for the Ghost to Hunt, then. It's like a co-op, like a pure co-op horror game, yes. Maybe it's over here? Maybe- Oh, maybe it's cards! You're right. Yeah, but the cards suck anyway, because they- 
they will kill you sometimes, and I don't want that to happen. Can you give us a say, you piece of trash? Why, why do I get a revenant in the last map was constantly hunting? I get a revenant here, it's not hunting ever. You absolute troll. Maybe there's cards. I, I Oh, we got this thing as well. The Romero thing. Unless it's at the very entrance and I missed it. Oh, there's cards. All right, well, uh, this could be a disaster, but whatever. We're just going to do it. I drop my thing here. I'm going to use one card. If I die to this one card, I swear to God. Boy, what does that do? It didn't do anything. Here we go. Hanged man incoming. Aggressive. That must be good, right? Not uh, hunting? What the fuck? Boy, just like the fool card? Okay. I mean, what is the hunt card? It's two aggressive cards back to back. Why are you not hunting? Hello? Um. Jesus. Alright, I guess I keep pulling until I get a hunt card. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> oh, there we go! Nice. Come over here, you piece. You piece of trash. There it is. Oh, I didn't hit it. Wait, how fucking close do you have to be? What? Um... Well, oh, I didn't do the silhouette yet. <laughs> I forgot a part of the exorcism. Whoops. <laughs> it didn't even give me like... <laughs> Why though? Why does it work that way? I'm glad I had a crucifix there. Holy shit, that could have been a disaster. That was my bad though. I forgot about the silhouette. Okay, wait, now we're actually in trouble. Oh wait, no, we're not in trouble at all. It's fine. We, we can figure this out. <laughs> Good thing we have infinite ammo, yeah. Exactly. I need to play more so below. That was like the most atmospheric horror game. Like, Demonologist has a great atmosphere. But I think so below does it, does it like better in terms of like ambience. Is it, but it's like a completely different game. Like, so below is kind of on the edge of Devour... It's like on the edge of a devour like game. Is it in here, maybe? Call me? Oh, wait, yeah. Call me. Can you pick up the phone. Creepy. I like that. Just looking for the thingy. Looking for the thingy. Where's the O? Isn't the O in this office or something? On the wall in this office? Oh, there you are. Hi. The O is... Right there. Okay, easy peasy. Now if it hunts, we're just gonna kill it. I'll do Romero in the meantime. Where's my... There it is. <clears throat> What happens if you find all the letters in the hallway? That's what I'm gonna show you right now. If we can find them. Supernatural is cool too. I think supernatural... Well, you mean metaphysical. Um, metaphysical is just like, it has a lot of jank. Like I think... Oh. Ah! That was way closer. Holy fuck. Fuck, he was right on my ass. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. If I didn't have that crucifix right there, my God. <laughs> Woo! Okay, well, we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful now. I did not get it. I did not get killed, though. I lived, bitch. <laughs> I don't know if you can do Romero after you've killed the ghost, but I, I just gotta be careful now. I can't go over there. Careful. 
Attack me! Is it attacking? Oh, there! There we go. So I love how when you shoot them, they just fucking T-pose. <laughs> Here, now we can do this. Now we can do this in peace. Let's go. I think, like, metaphysical is like the... I wish games like metaphysical did better. That's, that's I think, that's my takeaway of metaphysical. Like, uh, Romero. There you go, you just said it. Because as much as I... I thought there was a face in here. This thing. As much as I like games like Demonologist and Ghost Watchers, it is kind of like... To, to put it as, like, hater pants as possible, like, if I were to, like, use, all, like, two words to, to summarize Demonologist and Ghost Watchers, it's like Phasmophobia with jump scares. Well, it's three words, but it's like Phasmophobia plus jump scares. That's, like, how you can kind of classify Demonologist and uh, Ghost Watchers. Obviously, they're great games. Um, but I wish a game like Metaphysical could be made... And you could, like, and the developers that make games like that could still, like, make a living off of them. Because right now, like, the devs of Metaphysical are not making any money. They're just doing it because they love it. Um, and I find that a huge shame because Metaphysical has so many cool ideas that we have never seen in any of the ghost hunting games. Like, it's a super unique ghost hunting game. Way more unique than, like, Demonologist. Even though Demonologist is, like, way more polished um and like way more approachable from like a general audience perspective which is why it's way more successful i just wish that we could have our cake and eat it too i wish that every ghost hunting game that does something new could like be a financial success so we can see more of them because right now this seems to be the only formula that works the like have a lot of flashy uh, uh jump scares and some developers don't want to do that also i made way more money there holy shit i made four thousand uh, bucks. I and mean, let's go to Cyclone Street House now. I love this map. Really, really cool. Um, grab this stuff. Honestly, this map is like the easiest for grinding. It's super fast. I shouldn't... I shouldn't need this, hopefully. We'll see. What does the Fulu do? It's like a smudge stick. It, well, not like it doesn't defend you, but it makes the ghost more aggressive. Basically. It didn't change Cyclone Street House in any way, I think. You give us a sign. I just, I just, I guess I just wish Ghost Hunter games in general were more popular. So then there would have been, there would be more that are being made because I, I just enjoy playing them. I enjoy discovering them and like figuring out all the mechanics of them and sharing the experience. there but this map it also has a secret area it's the one of the two maps with secret areas limbo there you go that's the 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 secret area here it's not much we will come for you i don't think you even have to say that if, as long as you walk over here and then you walk back this will happen <laughs> I just got hit in the face with a crucifix, excuse me, did you? I think my character actually flinched, what the hell? Lori, thank you for the 12. <clears throat> did I change something over there? Yeah, this is the EMF reader, by the way, obviously. Maria room, this drives everyone insane. <laughs> Is the metaphysical games made by paper promises programming? Think so? I don't know, maybe? We should just have to look on the... Oh! Look on the Steam store. You give us a sign. Now, the one downside of this map is that it is like... Um... 
the activity bleeds th through floor, so it'll be upstairs and then you can pick up the EMF downstairs. Which is kind of annoying. So that was limbo, right? That was one interaction. Oh. It's, it's moving stuff upstairs, I think. Yes, definitely. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Then we have this, Lust. It's just another one. It's a pretty simple one, but it's another one. So that's two. And we have Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. That's like my favorite one. That's three. And we have Smile. That's four. So it's... I guess it's, I guess the, the average of interactions on a map is usually four. I think that's all of them, right? All four, four interactions. Obviously there's the, Mar oh no, there's also the like, the, the, I want to join the cult thing, right? But it doesn't, I don't think that works. It doesn't work. You can only do it once. I want to join the cult. Yeah, you can. Oh, no, you can. The key. Oh, hi there. They definitely changed that interaction. What the hell? That did not used to be like that. <laughs> it used to only be like the deer does a little red thing and then it's over. But if you do that, you get an achievement, by the way. I'll make sure to say I want to join the cult. How do you do the voice chat again? Oh. You can also type in this game. Forgot how. Um, can you give us a sign? I should really be dropping my stuff off here. Oh, it's freezing. E. E. There, and then you can say, hello. Oh. Did you just turn on that light? Or is that just... Wait. <laughs> Excuse me? E. E. Hey, Isa, what's up? What's my sanity looking like? Sanity is 90%. Oh, baby. Nice. There's still like 16 hours. It's 16 hours right now? What do you mean? Oh, the time difference? Uh, I think you're in this room. So it's freezing here, definitely. Hi there. Can you hear me? Can you talk? Can you speak? Can you talk with me, ghost? Where are you? Are you here? Can you speak? Are you close? Are you friendly? 4 p.m. Yeah, yeah. But like, I didn't. I tried to make sense of the statement because they said I never get to watch your stream because it's 4 p.m. right now, which that doesn't seem to. <laughs> okay, there. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> Isn't that like a really normal time to watch a stream? I watch videos all the time at 4 p.m. <laughs> I guess if you got a job, I don't have a job. <laughs> I mean, usually people watch streams during work anyway. Like half the people in chat are probably fucking working right now. I, I see you guys. Okay, I'm going to say spirit box. I'm going to say spirit box. I'm going to say freezing temps. And confirm I am working. See, I am onto you. Oh, that's not an excuse. Working is not an excuse to not watch the stream. There is no excuse. The only excuse is if because of time zones, it's like 4 a.m. for you. Which only I think the only people that have that excuse, like people from Australia, people from uh, like Asian uh, Asian countries. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> Do we even look for fingerprints? Can be fingerprints. Okay, so what do we got? Hantu, Myling, Gull, Abaddon. Abaddon we know. Gull is like no information. Oh, oh, they get angry if you talk. Okay, Hantu is Moroi. Uh, Myling is on Rio. <laughs> Wait. I... <laughs> okay, Hantu is Moroi. Myling is on Rio. <laughs> uh, we're, piecing, we're piecing the puzzle together. Okay, let's bring in a candle then. <laughs> Slowly but surely we'll figure it out. Keeping death. Thank you for the 25. Holy shit. Here you go. I got a candle for you. So the ghost cannot hunt. If there's a candle. Your fingerprints. You touch the light switch. Do something. Oh, 
I forgot I made a mess here. Really be grabbing a, a crucifix. Oh god. Oh, it's tarot cards again. God damn it. I mean, I don't really plan on using. I think the only map where you really need a hunt is on the hospital because you need to shoot the ghost during the hunt. But besides that, there's really no reason to get a hunt ever. Danny is 75. Might as well eat. Oh, whoops. Yeah, gold can insta hunt if you square. So let's try that out. Is the glass you look through? Is the ectoplasm glass? What evidence are we looking for, by the way? Um, it can't be ESG, and then all the other ones are pop possible. Oh. Smashing. You're making a mess, dude. Can you give us a sign? So dark in here, what the fuck? There we go, that's better. Uh, I blew out the candle. All right, you piece of garbage, you asshole. Oh. Oh, never mind. I don't have to start yelling at you. You are a hauntu. Okay. So I've been cursed then, right? Hauntu. Boom, confirm. Oh. What the fuck, the ghost orbs. <laughs> Come here! Come here. Nice, got both of those. Dude, they're so fucking fast. Come back here! You're gonna spam me. You gotta leave that. Oh, you gotta come up here at some point. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was the. It was the. The teeth face. Tiny girl, but she was massive. <laughs> okay, we need to find rats, I see. And then we need to find the tile on the wall as well, of course. That's always the same. Rats, I'm sorry, rats. I apologize, rat. You're actually supposed to be already dead. I don't know what magic this is. Hey, Technibok, what's up? Yes, you have a small range, therefore you should change uh, <laughs> location often. That does not, like, that, that, that does not follow upon your, your observation does not lead to that conclusion. If the ESG has a small area, that doesn't mean moving it makes it more likely to give you a result, right? Because the ghost moves around. If the ghost was stationary, then yes, but the ghost moves around. So if you just place it in the middle, there is no difference between placing it in the middle and just waiting than like moving it around because what could happen is you move it to a place and the ghost leaves that area like i don't know i just it, unless the ghost stands still a lot then yes i guess but otherwise i don't really see that conclusion make any sense but maybe from experience it's helped you so that could be the case it could be true regardless it's probably rats upstairs then I need that uh, glass as well. Oh. Any rats? Rats, rats, we are the rats. Where are the rats? Ghosty pants. Um. There's three rats, or supposedly there are three rats. There's new- Are there new interactions in there? I feel like that room slightly looks different. There's a rat. Is it outside? Can it be outside? I doubt it. No. I need to- I'll drop this rat off first before I grab the thing. Maybe in the bathroom here? In the bathroom. Let's go. Sorry. Oh, God. Uh, now we just need to look for the time. That's the same. That's the one thing that I kind of don't like about the Kurusawa thing. Is that the objectives are so fixed. Oh. 
Because there's always, like, two objectives are the same every game, which means there's going to be very little variety between the games where there is this. Um. Oh. Did you try and kill me with that book? Oh, there it is. 920? Okay. Nine. Oh, that's just... Okay. 920... Gonna be three clocks. They were rats. I mean, they were dead. It just made a noise. Post mortem. It's like when you, when you have that like clip of the dog head moving around when you shock it. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Easy game. I mean, this map is insanely easy compared to the other map. Cause especially compared to the first map. This map is like baby mode. It's like playing demonologist with training wheels, but it's like intended to be this way. Because the... Hey Miriam, what's up? Go watch the Five Nights at Freddy trailer. No, I have not. I honestly couldn't give a shit about the movie at all. <laughs> like, I like the games enough to play them and enjoy them i think definitely like i think the main fnaf game series i think there's so many people that are like dude like fnaf is like a perfect showcase of why gaming youtube is like all fake like people are just pretending to enjoy phasmo just because you don't like it or it's <laughs> enjoy phasmo phasmo on the brain doing it to they're pretending to enjoy fnaf which is like, that's like the main criticism everyone always throws FNAF's way. I was watching like a, a Ludwig video recently where he was like, people like, people pretend to enjoy FNAF, FNAF and I'm like, no, it's like actually like a genuinely interesting concept. Like it's, a, it's not a bad game. <laughs> like I, I don't know why it's so hard for people to realize that FNAF is like, like, actually fun to play. Like, I really enjoy it. Like, FNAF 2 is, like, genuinely so fun to play. Like, it's, like, fun to fun to master. Like, the jump... It's, it's not... I think what people think is, like, they think of the jump scare compilation. They think of, like... They think of the, 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 the people screaming at, like, the PNGs showing up and, like, screaming at you and the YouTubers going, Ah! Like, that part of it gets old after you play it for a while and to start it'll scare the shit out of you but then it'll be like all right i can see why the, the jump scares are getting extremely predictable but the thing with the good fnaf games there's some stinkers out there but the thing with the good fnaf games in the series is that they're fun and this is always this has been my this has been my opinion always with fnaf is that the good fnaf games are games that when you take away like if you would replace the jump scares with nothing it would still be a fun game. And that is the case for most of the FNAF games, in my opinion. Like, the first one, the second one. Uh, the second one more so than the first one. Like, the gameplay is just genuinely fun to master. I mean, for me. I'm not, it's not going to be the same way for everyone. But for me, it is. I didn't throw out my thermo! Fuck me! Yeah, and also the, like, lore... I mean, that Markiplier was the main person, like the main vocal uh, lore hater. <laughs> oh, I didn't even say light the candle, but sure. Like Markiplier was constantly making fun of like Golden Freddy and stuff, which I guess if you've been so active in a community so long and you're constantly like harassed by, do you know about the lore? And you like, don't give a shit. You're going to become cynical automatically. Dude, you have to take a bath in complete darkness? There's no light in here? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. There's no... Wait, what the fuck? There's no windows here. You can never take a bath. If you were to take a bath here, you're just gonna be sitting in the complete darkness? I guess you could set up some candles here or something. Or you could light this, I guess. Maybe. Pretty dark, though. July by day. Thank you for the nine. No, because there's no there's no windows. I'm hungry.
Thank you, thank you. Oh boy. They have added alerts under stream manager. What is that? What are you talking about? Are there any ghosts here? Hello? You haven't aged all day. That seems like a fixable problem. Seems like something you could fix right now by going to the fridge and opening it. EOV, I try to cook. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I close this? Oh, never mind. This is the attic. I thought this was the bathroom door. Wait, this painting was on the ground, though. I don't think it's supposed to be on the ground. Is there a ghost here? Where are you? Are you here? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you speak? Is there a ghost here? So this is to the right. Can you speak? Hello? Demon! <laughs> I love that. It just fucking grabs it. Can you give me a sign? Hello, ghost. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Excuse me? Oh, there we go. It takes a little bit. What the fuck? What the hell? Interesting roof shape they got. So I'm assuming the ghost is over here, but it's just a bit quiet. Yeah, there we go, because that painting was not supposed to be on the ground. I'm starting to get better at, like, recognizing the mess that ghosts make and the mess that is just always there. Because sometimes finding the ghost room can be really hard. Did you throw this over? Someone else threw that. Eating for pizza time. Ghost mess versus... I mean... This house looks pretty abandoned. We're still at 90% sanity. I've never found cameras to be useful at all. They're also so expensive. What are our objectives? It's, just, it's the rats this time? Okay. Mathilda Graves. Why is the case a random number? I don't understand. Why don't they just, like, count? Why don't they just, like, have an actual case number? I guess case numbers can be random. I don't know. Um, grab this, this, and look for e Ectoplasm, which we've not found a single time today, Ectoplasm. I start cockroaching this device. I think that might be the most asked question when people watch this game is why is there a cockroach on the EMF? Just because it looks cool. There's, it doesn't really do anything. Also, oh, Jesus! Holy fuck, that was pretty sick, man. <laughs> there you go that's ectoplasm you see how obvious that is you got ectoplasm that was really damn cool place this over here where you just did that interaction and then we'll place this right here before i'll just leave that there need to grab more stuff of the scripted events, yeah, I think there's been some really unique ones. I think I've seen that one in particular before on a... I think I've seen that one on the hospital map. Uh, but some of the events I've seen on this map are really cool. Just gotta replay it many times to see all of them. Uh, we need this and then one of these. What's harder to get? I think ESG is harder to get than... I'm gonna take... Take a pill. ESG is harder to get than the easel drawing, so I'm gonna take a second to ESG. Or I could take a Fulu. Let's take a Fulu. The increase activity overall. Yeah, ESG is extremely hard to get. Even with the change they did, where you can now ask the ghost to do something, like to manifest, still really tough. No water for that sanity pill. I mean... Sometimes when you're lazy, you just... Like, when you have to take pills daily, you're like, fuck it. Fuck it, wee ball. How effective is the Fulu? I... 
It seemed pretty all right. When I was playing on hard mode, this thing was like genuinely useful. On easy mode, I haven't found it to be very useful because most of the time the ghosts are always active on easy mode anyway. That was not like you really increased much activity. Uh, let's look for things. Fingies. Can you give us a sign? It's phrasing. It's an Agash, a Myling, a Raichu, or a Demon. What's the Raichu in this game? Lonely targets are good prey for them. Traveling in packs will make the Raichu more passive. And then the Demon is the one that infinitely hunts. Oh. Um. Can you give us a sign? Um, Logos, can you give us a sign? Can you do something? Can you touch this door, please? Can you manifest? Show yourself. Manifest? Do something. Give us a sign. Show yourself. What is the Agash? The Agash is the Hantu from Phasmo. Can you give us a sign? Can you sh show yourself? That should be easy to figure out. Uh, it's doing nothing. The Fulu was a lie. I've been, I've been trolled. Hey, his striker. You give us a sign. Maple, by the way, thank you for the four. Corrupt with the nine. July again with the with the nine as well. Emma with the gift sub. Dark with the fourteen. Creeping death again with the twenty-five. Thank you guys. Hey, give me a sign. Hello. Why the. Why am I smoking a fucking fat blunt over here? Like, this is not <laughs> some crazy breath, dude. Arivia, thank you for the five gift subs. My guy. Do you really- How are you breathing? Are you like- <laughs> How the fuck are you breathing this much? Holy shit. This is not healthy. Take deep breaths, man. This is, this is making me, like, anxious. <laughs> you fucking breathing like this. Choo-choo! I'm a train. Can you manifest? Show yourself. We're just vaping. It's not doing shit! I fooled you all the... All the way, and you didn't do shit. I think it did one interaction during the whole fulu period. What is this? It gets so busted sometimes? Like, th this is mare is not an option, right? No, oh, I would totally go with mare here. Like, this feels mare as hell. I guess I'll have to. I guess I'll have to bring in another one. I don't know. I'm gonna leave this at the door here so that in case. In case one of my crucifixes breaks and then I try to leave but the door closes in my face, I'll have the crucifix laying down right there. What map is this? This is the new map. It's called. Kur Urusawa, I think. And it's a Japanese style house. Like mansion more. Is he funk? Thank you for the 31. Is it going on over there? Wonder if they're gonna add that later? Like I guess it's just like to give more personality to the map. Hundred <clears throat> percent an Oni. Oh, is it hunting? No, it just broke something, that's good. I'm hearing EMF. It's doing lots of stuff. Can it even be EMF? Sometimes it just decides to do stuff, and other times it's just quiet forever. Can it be EMF? It can't even be EMF. Yeah, fuck me, I guess. And you give us a sign. And you manifest. I'll place this one over here, I guess. People say that if you place them too close together, it won't work, though. I don't know if that's true or if that was just a myth. Place it here. Oh, nice! No fingies. So no gash. And then we're looking for easel, ESC, or spirit box. I tried spirit box a lot and it didn't do anything, but we, we know how... It's the, the tiny girl thingy. 
Where are you? Are you here? Hello? Can you speak? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Spirit, can you hear me? Talk to me. Can you speak? Can you talk? Can you hear me? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Are you naked? Are you stupid? I would say it can't be the spare box because of the sheer amount of stuff I've tried. And it's never giving me a response. I don't think you even have to really, like, say any recognized phrase. You just have to hold down the button and walk around. That's what I usually... Like, usually I get spare box when I am not even asking any questions. I'm just talking. But I should be able to rule it out now, I would say. So I'm going to say it's not spare box. So it's a right or a demon. It doesn't hunt, so it could be a demon. Oh. So it's ESG or fucking easel. Manifest. Show yourself. This one, this is like such a shitty situation every time. Like these two evidences. They're like the, the weakest link. They make everything so slow because sometimes you just don't get it. I didn't hear and ESG you can hear. It's like a bzz, bzz or something. You hear like a... So what the fuck? There's papers on the ground. I thought it was glass. Manifest. Show yourself. Manifest. You don't do anything. You have like 40 hours in the game and you still don't know how the ESG and the canvas works. It just takes really long. It's super annoying. Yeah, I, that's... Thank you for validating my own experience because that's exactly what I've had. How long have I played this game? Oh, God. <laughs> he was fucking... Kissing my, kissing the back of my head. What the fuck? <laughs> I have played tw 25 hours. 25. Oh, that's that's quite a lot. You wanted a smooch? Smooch? Uh, could you please do anything? Okay. There's also no ruling it out. It's just like random. I guess I'll place it over here. Can you give us a sign? Can you do something? Hello, hello. There we go. Okay. Did I just move that around or did it just eventually decide? So it is a demon. Okay. Nice. So demons hunt very... They don't hunt like really ever. But when they hunt, they never stop hunting. It's just an interesting... I, I I like that. I mean, I guess kind of doesn't really fit the demon because you would expect the demon to just go crazy mode, but... I will bathe in your blood. I was I, I had to process it for a bit. I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> okay. Uh, we have to do rats and we have to do all the other objectives from this map. So we're looking for rats. We're looking for uh, katanas. There's the boiler. Not really a boiler. It's more a cauldron, but I'll forgive you. Rat. Fluffy Fluff, thank you for the four. Are you hunting? How can we have a crucifix? Because you cannot stop a demon from hunting. Which is kind of, like, stupid as hell. If you are playing... Like, if you're against a demon, and it hunts, and you don't have a crucifix, you are softlocked. You cannot escape. The hunt will last forever until you die. So, rest, rest in peace. It's just really fucked up. This, this is the owl thingy. One more, and two rats. Yeah, I mean, no hiding spot. Even if you could hide perfectly, it doesn't matter because the ghost will never stop hunting. Yeah, yeah, he will st exactly. The, the demon will never stop until it eats a crucifix or someone dies. So I hope you're playing in a team. What was that? Hi. Let's go in a little crazy mode. We got a look at the light switch. Oh, tarot cards. <laughs> I'm not gonna do those. Tarot cards are stupid. 
You really don't have much of an incentive in this game. I guess there is, because I got some comments that people... Which I guess it's valid. Like, it's always valid. People that are, that are like, better at the game and that know how to use no evidence. Like, that know the ghost abilities better, so you can, like, figure it out during a hunt. Which is probably a lot of as well in this game. Um... But that's, like, the only thing. There's... I guess it's the same thing in Phasmo. Sometimes in Phasmo, you have, like, objectives where you need to do it during a hunt. So that's, I guess, another reason to get a hunt. But the main reason you get a hunt is just, like, figure out what ghosts you're actually dealing with. But, like, if I were to... If I had to do, like, a... A two-evidence run in this game, I'd be hopelessly lost. Like, because I barely know any of the ghosts. Wish you could swing the sword for no reason. That'd be cool. There we go. Um, I don't... I need to check around. I know one of them. This one just goes up again. This one goes to the left. Okay, that one goes up. This one goes to the left. And then the other one was in the bathroom, I think. Oh, no, it wasn't. It goes up to the left, and then there was one over here. This one goes to the right. Okay. And then the other last one, we just... I don't even know where the last one is. It's got to be in the attic or something, because I've never seen that one. I just brute force it every time. Uh, so left, right. Was it left? I already forgot. I'm stupid. I think this one was left. This one is up. This one is right. Oh, that's not right. I cannot see it, man. Thank you. And then this one is just... There we go. And we need three items. That's definitely a thing I would also like to see changed. Like, yes, they have, like, unique models for all these things. But the gameplay, it's something that, like, Ghost Hunting games have struggled with, like, universally. How to make gameplay fun beyond walk around, pick up an item. Like, there's got to be a way to make this more engaging, right? Is it... Like, 90% of all the all the optional objectives in this game are just, like, pick up item and then you either already completed it or you go somewhere with that item and then drop it off. Like, the rats is like that. The salt bags are like that. The gun parts are like that. The katanas. The, uh... The, um... Pentagram, I guess, is slightly different. You have to go somewhere, but you still have to f find something. Like, it always boils down on just, like, go around the map, find something, and then... Uh, that's it. That's the gameplay. Like, there's no actual puzzles. I guess here they kind... I guess the, the painting puzzle is... I kind of like... I like the painting puzzle. Because it's like... You, you still have to go around the map and, like, find something, but at least it's more engaging. Where the fuck is this last part? It's not like the exorcism where you just run around and find objects. Uh, I think I... Where it is, dude? I think the bathroom already. Is it right at the entrance here? It is not. I mean, I guess it's like problematic because the thing is, it's kind of like an impossible feat. Is oh, oh, hi there. I have to use this. I have to use this because there's nothing I can do. I can't hide from you. Because it's a demon. Came out of nowhere. What if I? Oh, there. Wait, no, it wasn't it. I thought I saw a bl Oh, it's just a lamp. Where the fuck is this piece? You piece? Are you kidding me? And now I have to leave! Uh, wait, that's so dumb. Wait, unless I can exercise the ghost here. Unless we can run this way. Because I can't stay here. Because if I use... 
Oh, there it is! Never mind. Fuck you. Eat shit. I'm running. I'm exercising you. Nice try, guy. Nice try. Is he gonna stop hunting? <laughs> nice. Pretty cool. I, I like the animations of this game. They 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 know what they're doing. Let's go. Yeah, that, I guess that's the thing you can do. If you can finish the exorcism, that's the only thing you can do. If a demon starts a hunt, the only thing, and you don't have a crucifix, the only thing you can do is finish the whole exorcism. That's how you can get out. Unless the door's still locked, in which case, rip me. But I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to leave. Renee, thank you for the biddies. There you go. Yeah, that's that's a, that's another option. That's the second option. Third option. Die, crucifix, or, um, or exercise. Easy peasy. Look at that. I don't, I don't think I'll have enough money yet for the thing. I don't even think I should buy it. I just want to see it. How much money? Wait, we do. All right. Well, uh, this could be the biggest mistake of my life, but I want to do it. I'm going to buy the penthouse. Here we go. Bye. Oh, my money. No. Let's move. <laughs> Show me the show me the map. Oh baby, we're up in a up in a city, up in a pixel city. Very dark, very empty over here. How big is this place? Can I turn on some lights? Thank you. Please tell me my lights in my house don't explode. Not that many lights. Turn this on. I cannot turn this on. What are the interactions on this map? I have to, I have to find them. We're cutting some, uh, some grass. <laughs> what the fuck? That's like genuinely just grass. <laughs> this is yummy, yummy grass. It's chives. This, that's not. That's like too. That's too green. Don't chives have like a white part at the end, or, or am I, am I thinking of the wrong vegetable? It's just grass. Oh, what's this? Exit? Turn on the lights. Oh, great. I was thinking of green onions. Let's see. Do we have any interactions? There gotta be something. There's so many light switches. This light switch doesn't even do anything. Can I take a shower? I cannot take a shower. What is that? Is that watermelons? No. What the fuck is that? It's like giant pears. Sponges. Giant sponges. This is one fancy house, though. Holy shit. This is like this is the most uh homey looking place. What is this? Exit? What do you mean exit? Wallace, Sylvan. What does this mean? Blue green? I can't rotate any of this. What's over here? I just paid 50k for this. There better be some fucking cool interactions. What is the point of this map? I just paid 50k for like a glorified fucking studio apartment in New York. Holy fuck. This is too realistic. What is this trash? Dude, my sensitivity just got fucked. Why did my sensitivity just get fucked? Help! What happened? What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? I'm getting... I'm getting haunted. Okay, I fixed it. It's safe now. Then we should check if what's furniture we can buy. Because maybe we can... Well, I don't have any fucking money because this thing costs 50k, dude. Okay, what can we buy? Okay, you can buy furniture. You can buy a bed. Wait, bed not included? Excuse me? I didn't even realize. Wait, there's no bed. <laughs> Wait, I, I just pay like 50k for a... I mean, it's, if it was like actually a penthouse, obviously that's not, that's not expensive at all. But yeah, there is furniture... What is this? It's like a... What is this? It's like a, a romantic table, a bed, a nice couch setup, a model ship. We got paintings. I can spawn in my cat, at least. I can spawn in this. So, okay, that, that's pretty cool, but I still do not understand why you'd ever buy any other map besides the... I guess this one you can make it feel like a home. <laughs> Did you hear the cat? 
<laughs> I need to sleep on the fucking carpet right now. So anyway, I'm obviously going to go back to my other houses. The pub is just unbeatable. I'm telling you, if you have the pub, like, unless I miss something, let me know if I miss something. I feel like I didn't. I, the pub is just like the, it's the, the only map. Not only is it like super cool, it's like a super cool safe house, but it has so many cool interactions. Give me, give me a beer. Like, that's really cool. And piano. Piano. That is so good. It's so good. Oh. Oops. I played it twice. So cozy, dude. <laughs> it's like, why would you ever want something else? Damn, dude. And it's so cheap, too. Like, I think the pub only costs you, like, a 6,000 or something. And it has all this stuff. It has the best atmosphere. It has many cool interactions. That's all you need. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, let's uh, throw in all the items and go back. Yeah, it's so good. I don't know why. I don't know why you'd ever like. They really need to make the the lighthouse and the penthouse cooler if they want you to pay that much for it. Like that, I feel scammed. I genuinely, if I could take my money back and ditch the penthouse, I would. Like I, I feel like I got, I feel like I got scammed. That was a complete waste of money. <laughs> You're missing the pool table. Anyway, we're here. Uh, we have Ronnie Lane, which I don't think the names ever matter. Let's see some more cool interactions. I want to... The ghost in a different... What the fuck? In a different location. I think it was nice. I mean, it was literally just an empty house with like three rooms. It was... It looked all right. But there was like nothing to do. Like, I guess it's just because the... I, I guess the main thing is that the pub is just too damn good. Like, the pub, the pub is so good that there's, like, no beating it. I wish the pool table would actually let you play pool. Also, is that tarot cards? Oh, God. Well, I'm not pulling that. I'm gonna die and lose all my money. What time is it? What even is that? It's so, it's so, like it, it, it goes so fast and it disappears so quickly. I don't even know what's crawling. Looks like a mummy or like a skeleton. <clears throat> but it's really cool though. Like having the safe houses, it's, it's fun. It's just like, I'd rather have more depth in the safe houses than like what they're doing right now, where there's just a lot of them. Because the thing is, you'll, like, settle on one of them and you'll just, like, stay there forever. I guess what you can do, like, immersively, you can just have, like, all locations being, like, different locations. Like, you can go to the pub if you want. You can go to your house. Your house is, like, the penthouse. You can go to the lighthouse, I guess. I I'm hungry. Because obviously you're not going to sleep in the pub. Uh, Damley, thank you for the three months. Jaffa, thank you for the eight. And Nina Tark, thank you for the 26. Hey, Max, what's up? Any ghosts over here? Hello? I've not found a ghost. Be using this as well. Like the piano. If they, if they would, like, allow you to purchase the piano for all the other maps, I think they, they might have a chance to beat the pub. But the piano alone... Like, makes the pub the best map by far. Yeah, I'm not sleeping in the penthouse without a bed. That's true. Maybe after this mission, we'll be able to purchase a fucking bed. <laughs> Wooshdy, thank you for the 16. Be able to sleep. Let me just use this thing. Up here. I would love an attic ghost. It's gonna be hard to get fingerprints, though. Easy, thank you for the sub. EV or radio. It seemed like there was a lot of furniture options. Are you in here? I've already had a ghost here. Not in here. What the fuck? This map! Light the candle. Light. It blows and then it doesn't go out at all at the same time. Um... This map really reminds me, especially this middle section here, really reminds me of, like, 
Devour. Which Devour is so fun, by the way. I know we were talking about it earlier. Probably the best bang for your buck you can ever buy. It's like five bucks. You get five different maps and free updates all the time. Crazy. In the bathroom? Where the fuck is this ghost, dude? Hello? Any ghost here? Hey, Techni, thank you for the biddies. And Mamek, thank you for the biddies as well. Alright. Yeah, you gotta do something, my friend. Is this the thermo just an unreliable tool? Maybe here? No? The fuck? What the have I missed a room? Is there any other room? I've checked attic all the way. I don't even know what's going on. He's looting my penthouse right now. Maybe it's in the courtyard here? Oh! I didn't know this was a room. I see. That's interesting. Wait, that might mean, might mean we get some super unique interactions. Wait a minute. That could be real cool. Will I play a pyrophobia? I did play it. It was absolutely awful, so I'm sorry. I didn't make a video about it. I don't think I'm the target audience for Roblox. I think the thing with Roblox that doesn't function for me, like the main thing that makes Roblox like a viable, what is my sanity button? Like a viable gaming platform is the fact that everything's free. Uh, because for me, whenever I play something in Roblox, like I did a video on ghost hunting games in Roblox, it all just feels like, why would you ever play this if you are, like, above the age of 10 and you have, like, either an allowance or a job to buy any game at all on Steam? <laughs> like, that's just, that's just from, like, a, from, like, a spoiled gaming, gamer perspective where I've just, like, been, like, living in the real world for, real world for too long and I've been, like, spending money on games like there's no draw for me that it's free like that's that doesn't do anything like for me it's all about the games themselves and the games themselves in roblox almost all the time i think there's like i think doors is like an exa like like an ex uh like an outlier doors is like a good example of like a genuinely interesting and fun roblox experience but any of the like blair uh, what other games did I play? I forgot. I, I made a video on it. I uploaded the video. Uh, Spectre, Blair, Spectre, Spectre 2. Like, all those games. I just don't see the appeal if you have, like, any of the ghost hunting games on Steam. Like, any of them. Not just Phasmo. Like, any ghost hunting game is better than them. Than those games. In my opinion. At least, I should say. I should preface, but that's that's a given. Oh, yeah. But but that doesn't mean that Roblox doesn't have its place. Roblox absolutely has a place. It's like heaven for kids who don't have any money. It's like it's like that's why Roblox, I think uh what the fuck? Oh, hi there. Roblox like correctly gets the reputation that it's a kids platform because it is most the use case the main use case for roblox is kids because it doesn't cost anything to get games it's like free games it's like fucking if you if i was a kid i would be all over roblox that shit sounds amazing free games dude i was just playing like janky web games when i was a kid i was just playing on fucking spaylip.nl or fucking funny games <laughs> can you give me a sign Fucking bubble trouble or whatever the fuck it was called. <laughs> cool math games. Can you give me a sign? Do something. Did I place the... I did not place the thing. Did we grab this? Balloons? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> or the fucking McDonald's game? McDonald's game or uh what was it again? You had Tribal Wars, Grepoliz, 
uh, some kingdom game, but they were all like microtransactions. Uh, I need to pill. Grab a pill and then a fulu. Tanks. Fucking tanks was was very good. Or a uh, mother load, dude. That shit was awesome. Never beat that game. Love clicker games. But yeah, Roblox is like from someone who plays like uh like I'll just play like basically any game and just like uh try it out. Cause that's like the one of the main benefits of being a gamer by trade. Oh my god, that was cool. Oh it's uh writing, nice. Is that the price of games is like completely like it's literally a business expense like i'll literally be able to use it like <laughs> i tax write off my purchases of games like all the time that's just because it's like the only expense i have like i bought my computer one time i don't pay for that anymore from now on like all the only expenses i have is just buying games it's just like it's an insane thing but it is like the way the it's the way mafia works we got freezing, obviously. We got easel. But yeah, the price of games doesn't matter for me. Which means that... Roblox, like, loses its main competitive edge, which is being free. <laughs> Jesus. Subway surfs. Dude, there were some insanely good mobile games, though. Like, the Jetpack Joyride game is genuinely awesome. I remember playing that and, like, having a great time. Fruit Ninja is, like, genuinely fun. You're riding the other one as well. Oh, it's floating. It's a floating thingy. Oh, it ruined both of them. This is so clearly AI art. <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> Not ESG. Spirit box. I guess it's all the other ones. Um, drop this and try spirit box. Oh, it's a flying anger painting. Oh my god. Magic. Uh, where's my spirit box? There. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Can you hear me? I guess it doesn't even matter what I say because you just eventually respond. Uh, what other good mobile games? Doodle Jump was pretty good. Dude, I gotta do like a fucking old... I mean, Flappy Bird was a complete disaster. That shit sucked. Uh, I never... I never got Flappy Bird. I guess by then I was already too old. I was like, why people play this garbage? <laughs> this is not fun. Oh, does this keep spamming this interaction? What the fuck? You never got to play Doodle Jump. Doodle Jump's so good. Um... Ever too old for Flappy Bird. I got what other. Obviously Subway Surfers, but that doesn't really count. So I don't think it's Spirit Box. I'm going to say it's not slip. Spirit Box. Ectoplasm Stains. Yeah, how is the mobile game scene nowadays? Like, do you still have games like that? Like, or is it all just fucking Clash, and clash of Clans now? The only mobile game you play is... I guess they still... Oh! It's... Oh, oh, oh. It's EMA 5. Nice. EMA 5. So it's a mare! Wait a minute. This is, ghost has been pretty active for a mare. I would not have thought that it was a mare. What the fuck? Alright then. What we need to do... What now? I hear the... Okay, well... Wait, it was already ticking? Wait, I wasn't even standing on it and it was already ticking. What the fuck? Genshin Impact on mobile, I guess. A mobile right now are... Like, mobile ads are just like... People doing like, being insanely dumb. And then like, you being like, Why don't you click the obvious answer to the... At, at, like question prompt you fucking dumbass 
So you download the game to do it yourself? <laughs> it's like genius marketing, dude. It's so annoying. Yeah. But then you download the game and it's just completely different. I I don't know. That's what I... Like, Danny Gonzalez does videos on mobile games all the time. That's like the only thing I've... That's the only way I have consumed any mobile game related content the only mobile game i play is fucking super auto pets and it, the, i don't really consider it a mobile game because it's like i mean it's like an actual game it's not it doesn't do mobile game stuff and there's also what is the other game called slicer dice I think that was it. Slice or dice or something. It's like uh, a mobile game as well, which is pretty good. Slice and dice. Yeah, yeah, that one. That's pretty solid. But it's like these are these are games that are on Steam and then they also are on mobile, right? So the main cash cow for them is like the Steam. And then I guess maybe, maybe not. Maybe the main money is made on the App Store. It could very much be the case. But, um,. Because it's, it's like an actual game. It's right. And that's the thing with mobile games. So often they're like not actual games. So often it's just like clearly like a, a money printer. Get the, the gameplay is secondary to... Like it was made with making money in mind. I think a good mobile game is, is one that's not made with... Money. Oh, I guess we already did the pentagram. I was gonna check what the objective was, but it was pentagram. What the fuck is going on, dude? Yeah, mobile games. There's a lot of money to spend on them. That is pretty sick. <laughs> Demon! Did you guys see that they're getting rid of app? They're getting rid of app blocker on YouTube? They're like, uh, they're gonna, like, block you from watching videos if you have app blocker enabled. There's no katana up here? Which, it's actually insane that it's been, that it's taken them this long to do it. I wonder how much money they lost on app blockers. See how long that lasts. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I, you you say it is like we as consumers will show them. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go to fucking Vimeo. You're gonna eat it, you bitch. I'm just <laughs> like, there's nothing you can do. You have no power. <laughs> you have no. <laughs> What, you're like you're gonna watch Twitch and like watch seven unskippable ads over here. Like what? 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 What are you? What are you gonna do? Like Twitch is so much worse. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, this is upside down for the first time. Holy shit! There's not gonna be any. No, app blocking is like super easy to detect. Like app blocking is super easy to detect as a website. Obviously, because it's getting blocked. So they could always just like counteract the ad blocker. They could always like they couldn't make you turn it off, obviously, but they could prevent you from using the website, which is like on YouTube in the case of YouTube is the same. Because you're going to turn it off if you have no choice. If it's YouTube, if it's YouTube with ad blocker or no YouTube, I know which option I'm picking. I mean, I got YouTube premium, which is just like it's like seven bucks or something for no ads like it's uh... what the fuck just happened what the hell <laughs> okay this one's up that one's to the right and this one's upside down okay what the actual hell was that oh it's 15 i guess i purchased it initially when i was a student and then it was like half price Maybe I'm still paying. Maybe I'm paying more now. Uh, I need to do the paintings. This one's up. This one's right. Oops. 
This one is, I don't know. And this one's down. And then this one is just rotated until it clicks. There we go. <clears throat> See? But it's like, YouTube Premium is such a better... For me, it's like so worth so much more than uh, than like a Netflix Netflix subscription or something. <laughs> like I never use Netflix, but I use YouTube all the time. And then you can like watch YouTube guilt free. Not that you should have guilt using an app locker because it's like a, a gimme. It's like a it's uh, like you, it's impossible to use the internet without an app locker uh, so obviously everyone does it everyone above the age of this like 30 <laughs> or below the age of 30. i like, uh, probably below the age of 30 to be honest Like Twitch does it, for example. On Twitch, ad blockers don't work, and they don't like on Twitch. They don't even like prevent you from using ad blocker. You can, you can like watch the content, but like on Twitch, what I think they've done is they've integrated the ads in the streams themselves. Jesus Christ! How are you still here? I literally saw you burn in a cage, lady. What the fuck? There is a Twitch ad blocker that does work. Okay, I see. We'll definitely get that one. Holy shit. Like, Twitch is fucking terrible with ads. But mo like the, the, po the popular ad blockers don't work. The, the one, which one am I using? I think you block. But the thing with like uh, pr YouTube premium, I've watched a lot of YouTube on mobile. So having YouTube premium just means I don't have to like go through the trouble of Figuring out how the fuck you use an app blocker on mobile. I'm a grandpa. Don't add me. Um, I don't know how to do that shit. I'm going to the abandoned house. And we're going to check out the upstairs bathroom. And go... We have to... well, no, no, no. We should go to the penthouse and buy a bed. <laughs> buy... Get a bed. Here we go. We're finally going to be able to sleep. What do we buy? We buy... The cat's already here. What's this? Bed for $900. Yes, please. Then what is this? It's a chess set. It's a dinner table. It's shelving. I I buy a desk. Oh, but then I can't buy a sofa set. I'd rather have a desk. And then we'll buy the sofa set next. Let's see how it looks like now. Got a bed over here, I'm assuming. Wait, where'd the where's oh I need to put it in. Uh oof. And there. It's not here. Oh, it's, it's so the bedroom is complete now. Look at that. That's pretty nice. We got a laptop. Got a nice desk. We got a, finally an actual bed. With, <laughs> with bike bedding. What the fuck? What is this Dutch bed? Excuse me. What the fuck? <laughs> Anyway, let's uh let's go to the abandoned house. Did I already select it? What is this what does this say? Boo Boolem Bevlem Bevlem? I don't know. Where is this, by the way? What what where is this? Is this just some fantasy map? Or is this is this some uh like, place in the world. I'm level 43! Holy shit, I've been grinding. Uh, give me my items, please. Also, look at my character, by the way. This is literally me right now. I'm wearing a sweater, but also shorts at the same time. Dude, look at this suit-shorts combo. Abs sandals, <laughs> sunglasses, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> I actually really... Why, why do they- why is the- the menu is so much more readable on this map? If you- wait. If you go to this map, the menu is so dark. What the fuck? Wait. Why is that- that's so stupid! On this map, the menu is like ten times better. What the fuck? Look at that! <laughs> what the hell? 
That's so dumb. Why why is that a thing? Uh throw in these. There's all the sanity pills. Boom. Yes. I even throw in the tripod camera that I'll never use and then immediately proceed to die. Select the map, I already did this one. Send me. I guess it's just lighting. Maybe. Uh grab this. Yeah, there'll probably be, like, for a while, there'll be, like, ad blockers that do work on YouTube. But, like, it shouldn't be possible. Because, like, ultimately, like, ad blockers... I guess you could... No. I guess you... I don't know. I feel like there's always got to be a way for you to... Like, it would be really fucked, because it would be like, they would have to integrate the ads in the content. Like, if it is, like, it turns the video, like, black for the duration of the ad, you could block the ad and then just have a black screen for 30 seconds. I guess that would still be possible. But, like, you could, if you integrate the ads, like, in the, in the stream of the video, like, then you'll be blocking the whole video, right? And it's fucking Google. They're gonna figure it out. If they decide to block app blockers, that's the end of app blockers. Hello, ghost? Really not much we can do. I got enough resources to throw at a wall. I can't seem to detect Brave app lock. Isn't Brave literally Chrome, though? <laughs> isn't Brave, like, Google Chrome, like, on, isn't it built on Chromium? I don't know. I just use Chrome like a fucking normie. It is Chromium. Firefox. Oh, it's here, probably. Like, they could literally just, like, the thing, like, if somehow they can't manage to make ad blocker, like, the blocking of, the ad block blocking work, then they can, like, the, the ultimate weapon would just be ban all, <laughs> ban all ad block extensions from Chrome. Like, that would be <laughs> a pretty nuclear option, but it would definitely, like, solve it for most people. Obviously, people would... It would be like a small, like, there would be a vocal 1% that would stop using Chrome for that. But most, like, 99% of people would just fucking eat the bullet. <laughs> that is cr kill Chrome. Welcome to the vocal 1%, my friend. You, you don't realize how many people do not give a shit and will eat anything as long as it doesn't make their life a, a single percent more complicated. As long as they can just keep doing what they're doing, they'll do it. That's why you, that's why you, when you go down the stairs to get food, look like this walking up, fucking figuring out how to hold seven different items at once, because you are too lazy to go down the stairs a second time to bring up the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> Don't attack me! <laughs> Don't call me out like that. Where the fuck is this ghost? <laughs> Victoria. Let me in here. I don't think the ghost exists, by the way. Show me this. I want this damn door to close, man. It's gotta work. It's probably in the basement. I mean, it was cold there, but it's always cold. Dream. Yeah, the humans are lazy by trade. We'll literally spend more time to try and avoid changing. Prime Delta, thank you for the two. No, I'm gonna say, I don't want to say the thing because it'll like prevent it from happening, right? It happened! Oh my god, wait, why? I've done nothing different than this time. Let's go. So now you're stuck forever if you don't know what you're supposed to say here? <laughs> or does it eventually open? Help! Let me out! 
Anger. It is timed? Okay, or you just say that. Anyway, it finally happened. I thought it was bugged. I haven't had it happen in so long. So there you go. It does happen, apparently. Magna? <clears throat> oh, wait. Is the ghost here? I was looking away, but it looks... Nah, it's not here. It's gotta be at the entrance somewhere. I need to, like, be careful. It is slightly cold here. Paul? Oh. Go. It could be here. It's like, I mean, it's gotta be timed as well. Oh, you mean the, the closing of the door is timed? I don't know. How is it? F is this like bugged, by the way? Like, why is it 30 degrees in these two rooms? I don't understand. I don't understand. I think it's three rooms here. Like, why? It's supposed to be that way. The basement is going to be cold. Hello? Hey, it is here. Okay. Even though it, it's always cold down here, but it is actually here. Okay, we got a basement ghost. I haven't had a basement ghost in a really long time. This is going to be spooky. You can't drop your... Because there's no light down here. You can't drop your, your flashlight, sadly. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, how can you live in 30 degrees? That's crazy. Yeah, but I, I should really swap to a different browser. Because I've been getting... Like, my stream has been crashing sometimes. Like, when I change my title. I think it is because of Twitch. Because whenever I do anything on Twitch, even if I'm not streaming, like, my whole computer will lag for, like, a few moments. I think we can just... Like, Twitch is just a pretty shitty platform but there's like no alternative because uh kick is like a fucking money making scheme for gambling websites so that's not an option and there's literally no other streaming website so ripperoni we have no choice firefox is like firefox is like one of the only oh hi there one of the only browsers that's like actually like a unique browser like every other browser is basically built on chromium which is literally just chrome but like different features oh freezing wasn't there an upcoming competitor yeah kick but it's like it's literally like a just a loss leader for a gambling company with terrible morals. Which, not saying Amazon has the best morals, but compared to compared to a gambling crypto casino, I think they are doing a little better. <laughs> and that's that's a that's a big thing to say because it's fucking Amazon. Uh, I should I I don't even care about the camera. I don't know why I brought it. Uh. I guess I'll bring this. Wait, didn't I have... Didn't I bring an... Did I buy another EMF? Why do I have two? I guess I brought two. What the fuck? Even Edge is Chromium? Wait, even Edge is Chromium? <laughs> what the fuck? What's my sanity, by the way? I'm getting so distracted. My sanity is pretty good, actually. Then I don't need this yet. I'll just eat this and then bring in the stuff. Already brought in both of those. Let's bring in the UV then. Dude, Microsoft can't even make their own browser. Jesus. Edge used to be built on something else. I see. People use Chrome because it's open source. Yeah, it's like super easy to just... Like that way you don't have to actually make like a whole like making a browser is a big deal yeah it's it's crazy how the alternatives to twitch can be worse than twitch because you would think it's so you would think it's so easy to be better than stop closing the fucking door <laughs> you stinky bitch i'm not having emf down here there it is Or... Yeah, obviously freezing that I already filled that in. <clears throat> freezing. Can you hear me, spirit? Hello? 
Oh, Ghost, how are you doing today? You having a great time? This is such a weird drawing. Like, what the fuck is this, like, messed up Sonic drawing they got over here? What are they doing in this basement to begin with? Is this just their, like... The cultist basement? What is this thing? Hello, can you talk to me? Hello, hello. Ghost, please, give me a sign. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Can you talk to me? It's usually when I'm not asking questions, like actual normal ghost spirit box questions, that I get a response, strangely enough. I don't know. I, I'm guessing it's not spirit box, or I'm just getting scammed. Here, give us a sign. Manifest! Manifest? I fucking don't understand this shit, man. So it's not spirit- it's not fingerprints. Not spirit box. Ectoplasm stains? Did I bring that? I don't think I brought the ectoplasm thingy. Whoopsie. I mean, it's... That's the thing with these, like... As any big company is just by definition bad. Because, like... It's just because of, like, worker exploitation is just, like, always a thing in capitalism. So it's just, like, if you live your life by boycotting companies that are bad, like, there's nothing you can do because <laughs> everyone's bad. But that doesn't mean that... That doesn't mean we shouldn't advocate for change. It's just that you can't live your life by that. Going to boycott big bread. <laughs> Dude, big cheese. Yeah, I don't know. Just also, you would be very depressed all the time, taking up all the pains in the world on your shoulder. Doesn't mean that when the topic comes up, you shouldn't stand for certain. That's just the way I go about the things. If you think about the type depressing stuff all the time, you're never gonna get anything done. But when the topics come up, you gotta make sure that you, like, stand up for the right things. But you shouldn't, like, build your life around, <laughs> like, being anti-big tech or whatever the fuck. Because you're, I mean, this is like a, an ant, like, a, if everyone would think the way would think that way nothing would get done but like you're one one person you can't change much but as long as you like put your voice out there when it matters you'll like the it's always going to be a group effort so there have to be some fucking like super activists out there because they're the ones that actually do something but i'm too busy <laughs> I, I have to i have shit to do i'm too busy Hey, I'm playing video games. It's important, okay? <laughs> you gonna play that observation game ever again? What do you mean? Which observation game? And Carthel, thank you for the two months, by the way. I'm too busy. That's what they all say. Exactly. We're all busy in our own ways. Uh, salt. Okay, I can't do that yet. What the fuck is this ghost? Dude, I hate this garbage when you're like in this phase where the ghost doesn't do anything at all. I'm just gonna eat more pills. I guess I could bring in a Fulu, but I'll just. Br I think bringing in. Because the Fulu is really hit or miss, I'll just bring in another ESG and an easel. It's probably just gonna be that. Because I didn't see ectoplasm stains either. So it's probably just this. It's probably just a fucking mare again. Wait, what are we looking for then? It's both gonna be EMA5. And it's gonna be easel. It's probably just America because it's not doing anything. I'm an observation duty. Oh, you mean the original? I was trying to figure out a way, which I love the response, by the way. I was trying to figure out a way to hack I'm an observation duty to make it run at two times speed. But because there's no V-Sync option, I learned this recently. I, I didn't realize this was why sometimes it doesn't work. You can't speed up games using like uh, cheats if, you, if they have V-Sync. Because it, like, prevents the game from running at a higher speed. 
So I was asked, I sent the dev a DM on Twitter, like, hey, can you help me hack your game? And he was like, maybe you could try this. I was like, well, I did not expect that response. <laughs> I thought you would just say fuck off. But no, he was like, oh, you could try this. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You give me a sign. It didn't work, by the way, but I, but he tried. Huh. So I, the only game that we can do at two times speed in the I'm an Observation Duty series is the second one because it's the only one that has a V-Sync option. But the second one has the least content. Like if only the fifth one, dude. If the fifth one alone had V-Sync, we could just do the fifth one because the, uh oh, because the fifth one has so much content. But Ripperoni. Can you please do, like, anything at all, you sack of doo-doo? Yeah, I don't know what Natovia's plans are for the future of Observation Duty. It should be EMF 5. Can you do something? Can you give me a sign? It, unless it's- Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi. Can you give me something, please? This ghost is doing nothing! I hate it here. Like, no, there's not writing. It's not spirit box. It's not fingerprints. It's not writing. It's not ESG. It's not EMF. It's it's nothing. What do I have to do? Is, is it ectoplasm? It, like, even though I didn't see it before? We only have freezing, right? Yeah, we only have freezing. What the hell? Like, it's doing interactions, but it's not actually giving me anything. I don't think it's... Oh, never mind, it is! Let's go! Okay, ectoplasm. We've done it. That's a right... Wait, let's see, let's see. It's not fingerprints, that's for sure. It's probably not spare box. So it's gonna be ESG or easel. Yeah, we didn't... We didn't achieve anything. We didn't achieve a thing. It's just... We're down to the same. You either gotta write in the fucking thing, or you gotta do the manifestation. Although righteous would hunt me eventually. I guess demons also hunt. Can you do something? Yeah, that's pretty high. Manifest. Show yourself. Manifest. Show yourself. Do something. I'm dropping all kinds of stuff on the ground. Manifest. Do something. I swear, like, they added the manifest thing, but I've never had it work. Manifest. Show yourself. Like, it might as well not exist, because it doesn't do anything for me. Manifest. It just makes me sound like an idiot all the time. It just makes me... It gives me a false sense of influence. I'm just... I could just keep saying manifest. Also, by the way, you want to see... The insane new floor they've added to this map. So, what the hell? This is the Edith Finch thing, isn't it? It's like with the where it gets broken when the thing falls down. When the... <laughs> when in the strip book th section, the killer falls and breaks this. I think? Was it, and then they repair it. <laughs> It's the Edith Finch house. Um, but it, this is all it is. It's just, it's literally the whole upstairs they've added is a dead end here, dead end there. A tiny girl running down the hole. <laughs> I did not expect that would happen. Okay, they did add something. <laughs> but then only a bathroom. So the only room up here is a fucking bathroom. I don't know what psychos built this house. Like, you're gonna go all the way upstairs to take a shit? Are you kidding me? That's some nonsensical layout. Is there no other bathroom here? Isn't this a bathroom? Yeah, this is a bathroom, even though it's blocked off. Anyway, uh, yeah. Did you already write in the damn book? Oh, let's go. Just got to leave for a bit. It's a demon again. Why am I getting so... I got like three different ghosts during this whole thing. Okay, so we have a demon. There's a head in here. So now we're looking for things. I don't know what we're looking for. Let me quickly check. Yeah, so many similar ghosts. 
really like back to back same ghost i don't know if that's like a bug right now or if i'm just getting unlucky or lucky depending on how you look at it i don't know do we know when the second chapter is coming out of that black and white game with the flying magikarps <laughs> what in the actual fuck are you talking about <laughs> I probably know what you're talking about if you were to explain it in different words, but I have no idea what you just asked. <laughs> Flying magic carbs? What game could that be? Um, what do we gotta do? You need to collect the salt bags, pentagram and candle. Alright, easy peasy. Sounds pretty fun though. <laughs> that was like a fun game. Whatever it is. The suit- Oh, the suits have gone mad? Are you kidding me? That one? Where are the flying Magikarps in that game? Were you- Were you, like, high as a kite when you watched my video? Oh, that game was super cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who, who is it? Can you blow out the candle? That was the easiest- Dude, sometimes the ghosts listen immediately, other times they don't- I don't understand. Definitely stoned. <laughs> yeah, but that was really cool though. Like, I, I want to see more of that game. It was really short. I mean, it was only a demo. Uh, what the... Uh, wait, 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 we need to do that. Okay, wait, this is going to be bad. Am I going to regret doing this? Did it just hunt? I think it's hunting. Run, run, run. It's not. I thought I heard the door close. Because uh, we need to pull the heart pin for my daily objective. My last daily objective. 250 if I do that. And I only have an hour left. Uh-oh. We need to find... Oh, this thing. Pentagram. Just got to stand on it for fucking ever. Wait, can we pull the pin after the ghost is exercised? I don't know if that still counts. You can? Okay, well then I'll do it after. <laughs> that would be free money. Dude, riveting gameplay. Hey, hey Baxi. Now at least you can teabag this to make it go faster. You can use the exercise after or the terror cards after the exorcism and still die. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'll leave this. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it right over here. Because I got to get this finger. Any fingers in here? St another finger right there. <laughs> Laughing at me. Not that funny. Not that funny. There's another one. That's three. Four. Okay, this is easy peasy. Unless the last one is Im impossible to find. Dude, if only you could pick these up and put them in like a special quest inventory. I don't understand why you can't. It's stupid. It pulls all pins at once after you do it. If you do it after. And there'd be one down here. I don't know. I've never seen a finger in the basement. But I don't know if that... Oh, what did you just do? You blew out candles that weren't even on in the first place. Why are the fingers so big? Yeah, I don't know. You know what they say about big fingers? Does this TV do anything? There's a lady on there, but I don't think the lady actually ever moves. Big gloves, exactly. Any finger? There it is. Yeah, what the fuck? You, it takes. I <laughs> just realized. This finger is absolutely massive. And this is just one finger? That is, this hand must be like. Like as large as a torso. 
That's crazy. <laughs> oh, it's blowing out the candle even though it's already blown out. Yeah, that's the one thing. Like, I wish I could... I wish there was an option. Like, I know we, we went on a whole uh, criticism spree earlier. But I wish there was an option to play with hard mode difficulty, but easy mode activity. Where you have, like, faster sanity drain, more aggressive ghosts, uh, and then equal activity. Because the... Because the game is obviously much easier on easy mode, because it's easy mode, because the sanity drain is, like, low. But it's just so mind-numbingly boring on hard that even though it would be a more challenging way to play, it would, like, be very, very boring to play that way too long. So I wish they would have find, like, a, a compromise. And I don't think medium difficulty is the compromise. Medium difficulty is literally just like already less activity. Like it's just, for some reason, the main way they make the game harder, I think they do only like three different things. They make the ghost. No, I think they literally do two things. Sanity drains faster, uh, three things. Sanity drains faster, the pills heal for less, and the ghost does a lot less activity. That's the only three things that change based on the difficulty and, of course, the amount of money you make. But that's not, like, engaging at all, in my opinion. Like, the sanity drain is fine, but that alone would make the game hard enough. Like, I don't know why they need to turn down the difficulty. It's just boring. Oh, on Kurosawa, it's buggy? Wait, what's, what's buggy on Kuru... Why? It fucked ghost. Get shit on. I'm gonna pull the pins now. Easy peasy. Yeah, I mean, they could do a custom difficulty setting. Or they could have, like, hard mode plus. Or hard mode asterisk. That's, like, less money. But it changes the activity back to normal. I don't know if I can't... Well, we'll also get hunted here. Like, and this as well. Like, this is... Like, I would have way rather, like, you, this is another example of, like, a pretty egregious example. Like, I, I am f the number one advocator for do not call games knockoffs of each other. Um, but that does not mean you can't criticize copying, mainly because the reason why I personally criticize copying is not because... Oh, woo you, you, you copycat. But because I would have way rather seen some creative idea, like a new creative idea, rather than the same thing that we've already seen. And this is a good example. This voodoo doll right here is a straight up copy from the Phasmo voodoo doll. You click, it has pins. Every time you click it, the ghost does something. And if it does the heart pin, which is random, it'll do a hunt. It's the exact same as the Phasma one. Which, don't tell me this is... Like, a lot of the time I give a criticism like that, people are like, well, this is like... The ghosts are based on lore. But there's... This is not the only thing that a voodoo doll can do. The voodoo doll could do way more. You just gotta... You just gotta sit down for a few days and come up with it. Anyway. This is... Like, imagine you could, like, control the ghosts and, like... I don't know, during a hunt, you could use it as some kind of defense or whatever. Like, I don't know. The possibilities are literally endless. Or you could, like, mess with your teammates. Like, it could be that. It could be uh, some other thing. It, it could just... Like, you're, you're putting yourself into a box by, like, using Phasmo as a template. Which is unfortunate. I would way rather see something new. That, how much money did I get? I got 2,000 bucks. We can buy another furniture. I will buy... What do we buy? What's the most important? I think, like, a dining table is pretty important. I'm buying a dining table. Then we got 2,000 left. Chess? Fuck chess. I think the, the, the couch, for sure. And then... That's it. I don't have more money. And then I gotta put them in. The dining table. Dude, now it's actually... Now it's starting to look like a house. We got a di... Very dark. Why do you have to turn on the lights every time you enter this map? Also, we got a bathroom. The cat's looking very red in there. What the hell? 
That's pretty nice. Not, it's not the large. I feel like I'm oversized here. <laughs> How big is this car? Dude, I feel, I feel this is truly a Dutch house. What the fuck? I'm huge. This couch is tiny. What the hell? <laughs> and then what is this dining table? There aren't even fucking chairs, dude. What do you mean dining table? This is just three. This is like, it's like six pallets put together. It's literal pallets. What the fuck? This is like worse than Ikea furniture. You, <laughs> what the hell is this bullshit? <laughs> this is some kind of like uh, super hipster restaurant wannabe place or whatever. <laughs> like what the fuck is this? Anyway, I think that's where we're going to call a uh, demonologist today. I had a lot of fun. I think the map is cool. I like the interactions. I think the main thing I really take away from all these maps is... The secrets are fun. They're like a fun novelty that we haven't seen in other games. But the thing that carries the game to make it replayable are the interactions that hand happen randomly when you're when, when like the ghost is in a specific area, which is another reason why I think easy mode is like the only way you can play this game and have fun, in my opinion, because all that goes completely out the window if you're playing on hard mode, because if you're playing on hard mode, you're never gonna see any of that shit because the ghost literally doesn't do a single thing on hard mode. I've played, I've played like most most of my time initially on hard mode. I've done like over eight hours of hard mode, and it was like it, it almost made me quit the game entirely. Like it made me almost drop the game until I realized that it was hard mode that made the game so boring. Then everything changed for me. As soon as I realized that and I went back to easy mode, I started enjoying the game again. So if you're one of if you are in the same boat as I was and you're like, what why is nothing happening? I, I'm telling you it's a difficulty. Turn it down to easy mode again. You feel bad for doing it. I was like, why would I play on easy mode? I'm so used to going on Phasmo and clicking on insanity. And just playing it on the hardest difficulty but in this game it's different in this game the game becomes boring if you decide to play it in a harder difficulty so yeah that's just my tip from me to you let me know what you think about the map uh i definitely think it's uh it's great overall i i like this too it feels pretty comfy i just wish there would be some cool interactions and a bit more like real furniture i don't know what this pallet looking bullshit is but anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely game share and chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash so we'll click the link in the description down below thank you so much see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye 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 kitty say bye kitty oh he's gonna eat he's gonna get chunky he's thinking about it anyway i'll see you around bye guys oh there he goes oh so cute <laughs>